You don't blink at me like that. <laughs> What's going on? How's everybody doing? Good. Man. Ice is good. Got his matching turquoise going on. Parks oh, is good. Got his Michael. all black uniform you on. No deal. Ish is good. Got the hoochie daddies on today. <laughs> Show some skin. Got the hoochie daddies on the seven inch joints. Never that. Got the legs. What hoochie daddies? Seven yeah. had no choice. That's all they sell nowadays. Yeah, damn, yeah. Nah, no it's, hard. No, it's hard. It's hard. Those are about seven inches. Are they not? What you nah, think? I'm sitting down, nigga. These come to my knee. Oh, that would be how like long a, you had them? Nine to eleven. Something. Did you just buy eleven them? inch? Pause. No. Did you, you didn't just buy them? <laughs> Go try to buy them now. That's what yeah. I'm saying. A million of them over there. New York is doing this thing where they only give us a super nice day when we pod. Facts. The best days are when we pod. Facts. They've been. I think that's bullshit. It is some bullshit. Call, call, call God. <laughs> Corey? You know, that's the heart machine, man. Call yeah. the heart, heart machine. It's, it's wrapped around the JBP? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they tuned in. You All right. Is there, do you guys have important opinions to give away to the people today about anything? Yeah. All right. So we should have some fun then. I don't know if I have any. Uh-oh. I'll see. I'll see as the topics come up. See if we get mild. Mal Joe on a Wednesday. <laughs> Microphone check. One, two. What is this? How's everybody doing? What up? Y'all know who it is. You know what you're here to see. Some of you've been here for a while. Some of you have not. Salutations. Hope everybody's feeling good, feeling great, well nourished, well rested. Hope everyone's mental health is good. I hope the shit you do in your spare time is awesome and you're having a blast. I hope that you are moving moderately with your vices. Not too much, not too little. Sure. Uh, I hope that you have all of your relationships intact and in order, side chicks included. Uh, and I wish health, wealth, and prosperity to you all. With that being said, everybody that's supposed to be here is here. Yeah. What's up? Well, TSK is not here, but you know what I mean? Wait, Rob's not here? No. Oh, shit. Look at me. <laughs> Where's Rob? Uh, he had some family business to take care of or something, something of that nature. Some Who's the head of communications at this network? Who's the hell supposed to tell me that? Niggas just do what they want, huh? <laughs> oh, man, this might be the episode we could cancel. He's, he's not here. <laughs> Who's taking timestamps? We all are working together. Oh, yeah, we're canceled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're out of Welcome here. Welcome to the last episode of the JVP. Yeah, we are 542, gone. we made it. Now, on this R&B bracket that's running around, I have no issue with any of it. It was, uh, part of my interruption, it was group or uh, solo or mixed uh, I think it was group. I think they were doing groups. Got gotcha. you. Okay. They were doing groups. Uh, New Edition won all of the ones that I saw. So. Now, uh, another question. Sorry to interrupt again. Time frame. Was this from... Here like, it is. Boys to Men versus New Edition. Men Condition versus High Five. Silk versus H-Town. Black Street versus Guy. Okay, so this, side, was, this was modern. We this have Joe to see Tony, Tony, Tony. 112 versus After Seven. Drew Hill versus Bellevue DeVoe. Jagged Edge versus Next. Now... Everybody made their own bracket, but on a lot of the ones I saw, it's cor it's corrected here. They had guy beating Blackstreet. No, and yeah, I don't know about that. It pains me to say, I don't think that's true. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the other side of that coin. Of course you are. Okay. Why? It's guy. See, and like, I need more. And I, I need more than that. Say, That's the same thing I did guy, when I read guy it. Guy dominated. That's disrespectful to guy. It feels like off name recognition. No, guy dominated the nineties. No, they didn't. Okay. No, they did not. If you say dominate, them. they didn't dominate the nineties at all. Dominate the nineties. Their biggest hits came in the late eighties. When was New Jack sure. Swing era? Late eighties, very early nineties. I like late say eighties. I, I, I like is an eighties record. Yo, Goodbye Love is a 90s record. Goodbye Love didn't dominate anything. You out your mind. What did it dominate? Okay. We, we can have a disagreement, but... Peace of My Love, Fantasy, I Like, and Less Chill are 80s records. None of those records are in the 90s. And that got to be real late 80s. Let me check 88, that. 88, 89. I don't know about that, but... Well, we'll look it up, but as we continue still, to talk... And those are their four biggest records. How do they get Black Street out of here? Pardon my ignorance. I know I'm from the, the generation that is supposed to agree with Ish. But I don't. Uh, I, I don't like know. it was 88. Let's Chill was... Uh, this is going to re-release so they don't have the uh, proper release date on it. Peace of My Love is also 88. 
Mostly that 80s. guy album was 1988. Then the next album was 90. Yo, those two albums crazy. But to say they dominated the 90s? So that's just, incorrect. We don't yeah, have to yeah, stay yeah, on that. Yeah, that yeah, part yeah. is incorrect. Yeah, I don't, but Blackstreet, their run might not have been the longest either. But I'm picking these Blackstreet records. I'm going Blackstreet. Maybe it, it could be age. Just yeah. off the strength of uh, Before I Let You Go, mm-hmm. Joy, No Diggity, Don't Leave Me, mm-hmm. Tonight's the Night. I love Money Can't Buy Me Love. Like They just got more records I love than Guy. And that sounds fucked up. But it's true. I don't, it, it don't sound fucked up to me. I'm rolling. And Guy don't be Blackstreet in the verses. I mean, it's a hard verse. Yeah, because there's a little Teddy Riley's overlap. Teddy the center of the group. Yeah. Okay, and I I think that you can go on. I think Teddy Riley is one of the greatest. He is. Keep going. So I think that he can make something really great and then go on and make something greater. True. I'm not disagreeing. Now, I, maybe, I, I will never say that Blackstreet has had the impact that Guy has had. No. I won't say that. Because Guy, I think, influenced Blackstreet, Jodeci, and them too. The rest of them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm rolling Blackstreet. Uh, what's going on? What do y'all want to start with? What do y'all want to talk about? Energy up. What's up? What's happening? Well, you went to Summer Jam this weekend. How how'd it go? Oh, uh, let me hit the drops. I don't think I did no, that did right. Not. And Parks just will not fix these drops. No, 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 so Saturday, this is what I realized. When I don't have my kid, I don't know what to do with my life. Bored as hell. Yeah, I'm at the age, right, where all of my friends are 40 and 45 years into their lives as well. Mm-hmm. 38 years into their lives. Yeah. Things got families, kids, Wives, responsibilities, yeah. Yeah. new marriages. Houses. Like, there really is nobody <clears throat> to call up and say... Hey, you want to run to the beach real quick? Unless it's a thotty. <laughs> Alex, you good? <laughs> My fault. And that's a dangerous game when you just are through the Rolodex of thotties for your Saturday. So mm. I just go up the street, uh, get a little brunch at the local bar. Uh, I happen to see Ebro okay. there, right? Uh, the audience doesn't know, but we thought about going to actually work Summer Jam for mm-hmm. a second. Mm-hmm. That didn't work out. So when too, I saw too last minute, so yeah, yeah, yeah great idea, but too last minute. Uh, so when I saw Ebro, he said, "Hey, you should just come and hang out." And I said, "Well, I never even thought about that. <laughs> that didn't even enter my brain as like an option, right?" So Sunday came and I wasn't doing a thing. Mm-hmm. So I hop up pretty early at around. Three o'clock, let's say, mm. and I run over there. Now, Summer Jam doesn't start till six. I didn't really realize. I was going to go too, but it was Festival supposed to rain, early. so I was like, you know what? Huh? Um, Festival stage early. Yeah, but even that was, I felt like later than, I felt like it used to start earlier. 3.30. But I could be wrong. Festival stage is early. Mm-hmm. Summer Jam starts Main at show, six, six, and they're going to run late, so you're thinking seven, seven thirty eight, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So I get there at three, and I'm just roaming around by myself. <laughs> It's nothing, no. but, nothing but police there setting up. <laughs> like a lot of police. I'm sure. And traffic. Sure. Because people are getting ready to come to Summer Jam. Yeah. So I was wandering like a lost little Yorkie for a little while, and then I see Ebro. No, now I end up on the stage. Now, <laughs> I'm, at, now I'm on stage. <laughs> While people are rapping, or is it still set up? No, I'm the only one here. <laughs> The outside think, stage think, or the inside? I wasn't nowhere near festival well, I'm stage. Just trying to see where that, you at. that took a little walk. No, the main stage. Okay, so you went inside. It's just me. <laughs> That's hilarious. O'clock. There's no audience yeah, drinking no, a coffee on stage by yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never go in that early period. Yeah, even if shot, you don't, even shot. without a pass. You, I know, but this yeah. is media Joe now. Still no. Vanessa? Huh? You start. You start. No, no, it no, up. no, 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 no. Ebro asked me that same thing. No, I don't. I don't up. see stages or or people performing and start missing it and getting to stop. I don't. Yes, you do. Uh, yeah, I no, I do. Yes, you do. No, no, I love when y'all tell me about me. Y'all explain. Because I just saw you repost a, a video that somebody put up of you performing on stage. You're like, damn, I kind of missed those. But I just know how much. I you, didn't say that. She said that. I know. How, said. Those weren't my what words. You said. 
I'd have to go look, but I didn't say that. Those were her words. All right. I know how much you liked performing when it was the right situation. And I find it hard to believe that you didn't. You mi- don't miss that on some level. I don't. Hmm. Interesting. Rapping? No, we've had this talk here before. I'm not getting into that bag again. But shit, singing them songs was depressing and sad. And it was mad words. Well, that's why I said in the, uh, you know, I, some, I, of the, some of the fun, when we would do the shorter fun set, I feel like you would you would enjoy that. I'm like, I'm old. I want to age. I don't want to <laughs> keep hopping around on stage. I don't. That's me. I'm not saying that people and I are having fun. But anyway, I'm just sitting on an empty stage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I bump into Nessa, who works at Hot 97, mm-hmm. and Colin Kaepernick. Nice. Her significant other. Nice. And then we get to chopping it up. And then Ebro comes. And then Ebro says, hey, do y'all want to go see Cardi at the festival stage? Well, sure, Ebro. <laughs> I ain't doing shit but sitting here doing nothing. And I thought that that meant that we would go to, like, her trailer. Mm-hmm. No, it's not what he meant. <laughs> and the festival stage is mad far over there. No golf cart. You got to get through like other levels of security. They're not respecting the all access. Just a lot going on. Mm-hmm. But we finally get over there, and it's a mess. A million people with cameras and phones and words <laughs> and questions, sure. eyes staring all at you. Hey, can I get a pic? Mm. Hey, I was in third grade with your nephew. <laughs> hey, I think your mom knows my aunt they grew up in. Yo, dog, I don't give a fuck about any of this. <laughs> I'm only back here to see Cardi. Know who I saw? Everybody else. <laughs> saw Saucy Santana. I saw B Love. I saw Fresher, right? Mm. But then Cardi comes on. And I, long story less long. Cardi wasn't on the show. She wasn't on. She was not on Summer Jam main stage. Mm-mm. No, she wasn't booked. wasn't supposed to be there. She just came out to do the festival stage, uh, and get uh, and get out of there. Mm. B Love was performing. She popped up with him. Got the fuck out of there. I thought that that was the flyest amazing. shit in the world. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Not a- and when I asked her about it, she said, "Well, I just always felt like the festival stage was the lit stage, mm. and niggas did used to kind of feel like that a little yeah. bit. But you wanted the bigger look." Of course. So you did Summer Jam. But when you big enough, you just do what the fuck you want. Yeah. That's that's what made this so dope to me. That's like, dope. Cardi could have gotten brought out by damn near anybody on that main stage. No question. But she by decided. Anybody. She's, by anybody. That's, Cardi. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But you, you do it to the festival stage. An artist of her stature. Mm-hmm. Dope. That just, that's super dope. We talk about people getting too big and scared to, not scared, but they don't give back necessarily to Facts. The smaller it, you'd never see this. You never, never see a see super this. duper star. You'd never see this. Yeah, this is crazy. Go do some never. Well, that was my other point. Standing back there just observing. It was a stark reminder that this girl is really her, yo. Nah, she no she question. Don't. I mean, we know that, but when you see it in action around other artists at a festival, right? Like you forget how big of a production Summer Jam is. There's a lot of people there working. Mm-hmm. There's beliefs, there's fans, there's media it's just a lot going on some people when they come the crowd just gotta move like moses mm-hmm. <laughs> so to see that i just be proud of her man super happy for cardi i want to shout out ebro thank him uh, uh i want to shout out uh colin nessa for making that a great time while my anxiety and my angst was <laughs> running rampant <laughs> but anyway once cardi got off that stage and she left i left oh uh, it was it for you Yes. That's no fun. You mean like left? Bentley? I went home. Oh, man. You missed the hell of a show. I'm sure. I heard it was great. I saw a lot of clips. I saw a lot of footage. But just the way I'm built and made up, my brain told me, oh, this is only going to get more congested. No question. And more packed. And then I thought back to me being an artist at Summer Jam, remembering how it is mm-hmm. when the artists run in, their whole entourage... Only this amount of time to get mm-hmm. to the stage, perform, mm-hmm. get out. You're seeing people, you're handshaking, traffic. Cops are going to get even more aggressive soon. I want to go. I don't do well in them instances. Many people tell you they're an introvert and they are fucking liars. I really mean it when I say it, and I'd rather be home. Check this out. I went to Summer Jam, too, from the comfort of my home in the Oculus. Inside versus outside. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 
They actually the had topic a, that won't die. I'm just saying they they actually had the Summer Jam stream live in the Oculus. See, I was mad because I was trying to. I, I was kind of banking on the stream. I was gonna go because a couple of Rem's friends were going. She wanted to go. I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's go. But then it was supposed to rain. I was like, fuck, it, I'm just gonna stay home and watch the stream. Couldn't find the stream for yeah, the life of me. Title used to have it, and then over here it used, used to, to have it. it. it yeah. yeah. Apparently, but, they had their own stream on their site that they sold. I wish I would have known that. Smart. I, would've, I, I didn't know that either. Genius. That's smart. I follow a lot of Hot 97 people, and I didn't see anybody mention that. So, <laughs> Somebody sent me a, a, a graphic like, yo, we really got Summer Jam in the metaverse. And I'm like, okay. I want to see what this is about. Pardon me, Ice. We're going to have to turn the air on in this place. Oh, damn. I thought it was on. It's but, um, cold. yeah, you, cold. you literally... You're damn near on stage. That's dope, yo. Right in front of the that stage. That is amazing. Like, there was there were three camera angles you had, and you were just about standing on, like, standing right in front of whoever's performing on stage, looking left and right, and the entire show. I mean, the only thing where, where I don't know if it was a mess up, it was a time allotted thing, allowance All thing. right, so give me your takeaways from Summer Jam. Um, Lil Durk is him. Mm. Like, I was wondering, I didn't know how the lineup was going to go. I knew Lil Baby was on it, and I knew Lil Durk was on it. Yeah. So I was wondering who would go first. I've never seen either one of them perform live. Mm. So I was just wanting to see their shows, their sets. Dirk is a straight-up rock star. Mm. And it was it was wow. Like, he went through his, from four projects ago, up to current records, brought out guests, brought out French. It's New York. Right. Not mad at it. And was signed to him previously. Uh, brought out his crew. They did records. He, you know, did a Von record. Did uh, Back in Blood. Yes, ish. Yeah, yeah. I was in there. I know you was. Yeah. <laughs> but um, with the goggles on, wilding. Excuse me. You had the goggles on, wilding. Oh yeah, wilding <laughs> with, with, with the goggles on. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was, it was just an experience to be like I felt like I was there, but I'm still in the house. Like I don't have to worry about traffic, fights, nothing. <laughs> and I got a better view than all y'all. That okay. shit about to make, for free. That shit about to make mad bread. When they yeah. start really feeling like, because he just said, "Yo, I ain't have to be there. I, I got the real show from the comfort of my home with them things on." I mean, it's not That's the my, real show, but it's it's a close but you got, why, yeah. why, why is it not the real show? There's something about and, being in a room of people, man. It's, it's a different. Bam, bam. <laughs> Stop it. We're not getting we're not back in. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we're not getting back in. Ice enjoyed his Oculus show. <laughs> yeah, which is great. Sure What's did. happening there? Who are all these people on sure stage? Did. Now, one thing I wanted to ask y'all, and the, the stream messed up because it, it cut before Fabio set. That's why. And when he came out, he had on a crown, and he had on a cape that said King of New York City. Okay, he's embracing it. And I want to ask what y'all thought about that. Do y'all think he is the king of New York City today? At my big age, I will not get into that. Because I don't care. Like, I know what they mean when they say it and what they're trying to do. Like, what is that? I still am unclear on what king of New York is. Well, it's always been the hottest artist in New York. That's kind of how it went from Hove, I mean, from Big to Hove to... Then when Fifty says New York's mine, I have never put people have put a claim on. I've never I'm the, hottest, I'm the king of New York. I have never given that title to anyone outside of Biggie and Hope. When Fifty came and was hot, I never said he's the king of New York. When Ja came and was hot, I never said he's the king of New York. When Fab had his run, I never said he's the king of New York. That's because Hope was still Hope. You can't say they're the king of New York while Hope was still Hoving. I just don't put King of New York on the hottest. I don't put King of anywhere on the hottest. Ah, okay. what, what are you doing in your community? Like, there's a bunch of things that I could attribute to why someone is calling him the King. Fabio, most would say you can't sell that amount of records and be the King of New York. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going off that when he says it. It's a feeling. Mm -hmm. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. The whole city's behind Hottest in New York, that's debatable. I mean, I don't know. Like, they were saying, like, even he said it, you know, Pop, Pop Smoke was the King of New York. And now he's not here. It's mine. Yeah, he and, said that on the uh, Alicia Keys mm -hmm. records. Yeah, but niggas just be saying whatever on these records. Pop Smoke was well, here that, for how many years? But unfortunately, Joe, that's what it takes. You say something on a record and start moving like you believe it, and the fans will treat it as fact. I've seen it happen plenty but, of times. That's why I started with I don't in, engage in this because I know why they do it. That's why they do it. You are mm -hmm. absolutely right. Mm -hmm. If I say it enough times, the fans will rally behind it. It might become fact. Mm-hmm. 
T.I. said he was the king of the South, and everybody had a problem with it, but he started behaving like the king of the South, and then it stuck. Wayne said greatest rapper alive, and people were saying, no, you're not this person, this person, but he started behaving Man, like it, and it stuck. Talk to me about the shit that has perks that come along with it. <laughs> like these self-imposed titles. I think you have to self-impose the title, though. That's not true. You have to. to somebody, with, with, somebody can this say, is all marketing yo, shit. You have to. You got to self-impose the title and then back it up. But, that's but if you don't self-impose the title, they're not going to just crown you some shit. Shit. I mean, I disagree. I think I think that you could be on such of a run and you could be so impactful that somebody else can say, yo, he's such and such or she's such and such. But niggas don't say it. You got to say it and make niggas believe it. Niggas ain't giving props out, yo, he's him. Especially not your peers. Shit. That that's when you really are out here moving. Give and me shaking. an example that somebody where the peers said this outside of when the West announced Kendrick as the next up. That's Annou- the only time I've seen that. Anointed. 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 <laughs> anointed, sir. Excuse me. It, it happens. Yeah, we ain't perfect. Outside of Kendrick being anointed when Snoop and all of them came together and put the crown on his head, that don't happen. You gotta snatch that title. And then back it up. And then And then what do you it. get? <laughs> I, I get where Joe's going. Like, what is what is what does it get you? Then what, what is what is the perk? All right, what I is... said I'm the king of New York. I backed it up, sold a lot of records. Mad dudes believe me. Now what? Damn, I don't know. You, you thought this shit goes? This silly hip hop shit. I don't care. Hip hop. Call yourself what you want. I don't care about that. Nah, it's a little bit. So we've unpacked this. <laughs> so just so I'm clear, we can get off of this. Y'all, y'all agree or disagree with that title? That's all I was asking. With him saying, I am the king of New York, do you agree or disagree? I agree. Sure. Ish. Nah. But when anybody says it, it's like with a little bit of heat behind him, it's like, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think who else would be in the in the running. 6 9 said it, and none of these niggas could say nothing because he was the hottest nigga in New York. And that's why he said it. But who acknowledged him that he didn't have to see those other boxes, the respect mm-hmm. amongst your peers, mm-hmm. Uh, the the the, you know, just everything that comes with it. I'm mm-hmm. not talking about that damn six <laughs> nine right now. Um, so, were there any other uh, uh, performances that were? Yeah, yeah. Um, I watched Pusha T go on there, and while I love the records he performed, yeah, it felt like Summer Jam wasn't him and Benny. I just felt like that's not the crowd for them for some reason. I mean, it's a it's a radio uh, radio centric performance, and they're not necessarily radio guys. But Push has radio records. He did historically. He, he, he like, did he did his new records. Push looks great. Go push. And then went into like he did Mercy. He did a I don't like. He even finished with grinding. Okay. But the crowd was just like, it was it was really a it was a dead crowd. If I go anywhere with those three records and it don't pop off, it's definitely the crowd's fault. <laughs> I feel you. I can go anywhere in the world with them three records and feel like I'm strapped. Yeah. Not mm. not a young Summer Jam crowd. I don't know about them 26-year-olds. That grind, I'm sorry. That shit ain't going to hit like that. It's still grinding. I know, but it still ain't going to hit. It ain't grinding to them. I'm doing grinding if it's I, in my you heart. You should do it. Of course you are. You I'm should. And they might not bop, but it's grinding. Mm-hmm. Correct. <laughs> Would you rather grinding be erased from the history no. of... Of no. course not. You got to do grinding. And he got he could get in his Chief Keith bag like he got. He did records. That. I said that's I what like I'm saying. He, he got records he could get into for the yeah. young niggas, but. And also, they did the K Slay tribute. Okay. And it was um. Rest in peace, K Slay. Rest in peace, K Slay. Um, Busta Rhymes and Split Star came out first. Dope. Papoose Dope. Went for the Touch It remix. Shout out to Pat. Fat Joe Remy. Nice. D Block. Mm. And the set. The set. The set, which is Jim Jones and Joel Santana. Uh okay, that's a thing. Apparently, mm. I have my theories, and I'll leave it alone. So no, the hell, them other two should have did. Look how simple that is. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I have my theories. Why they couldn't just do that? Anyway, <laughs> the house. So governor's ball is Saturday. Roddy Rich gets arrested at governor's ball. Mm-hmm. Checkpoint. Weapons in the car, you're coming with us. They didn't just take him. They took him and a few of his associates as well. Mm-hmm. Roddy, w- R- Roddy Rich was released. Mm-hmm. Try saying that four times fast. <laughs> Roddy Rich was released. 
in time to be at Summer Jam. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. And he goes on stage and tells the crowd to say, NYPD can suck my dick. Ooh. <laughs> know what the crowd did? Exactly what they should have. They said, NYPD can suck my dick. Now, the crowd wasn't just released on bail <laughs> the day before. <laughs> The crowd may or may not be fighting charges along with their buddies. They're just screaming some shit for fun. We got to get into what artists scream at the front of the stage and why you do it. And you said now I can't say anything. All of us have done this. Although it wasn't NYPD, I guess. Huh? The the uh, police at Summer Jam was not NYPD, but I mean, so what? I know the gang is the gang is the gang. That is not true. I mean, it is true, but the gang is the gang. It matters none. You think they're not going to try and jam him up the first chance they get for going out there and wow. screaming fuck any cop anywhere? He could have said fuck Ch- Chicago cops. And the cops out here would have had a problem with it. Yeah. And just why would you do it? I know. I've done it before, I'm sure. <laughs> but why? <laughs> Probably not the wisest thing. There's so many things the crowd can say, yo. Damn. Yo, again, whatever happened to good old, everybody wave your hands from side say to ho. side. Say ho. Why won't they say ho? Brooklyn. <laughs> yo. Yo. You got more than $100 in your pocket, but it, like anything. Dog, and then we'll come in here. If they t- crack his fucking muffin, we're going to come in here and get mad at the courts. Fair. Money don't make you impenetrable, especially to um your man John Law. Them niggas. That's we got it out for you. Fair. Now you gotta come back. That's what you on bail. You gotta come back. We'll see you. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. You gotta come back. Holler at me. You know what else I noticed about Summer Jam? And it just you playing that Roddy Rich clip right there just kind of reminded me. Do you artists understand that this is June? Everybody had leather on. <laughs> And I've seen this happen. Some things before. never change. Like, like, I'm not mad at that. You ain't swaggy with the young boys. They swaggy. They sweating. They so they, they got they got I mean, that's hate. That's, that's hate. hate. That's yeah, hate. it might be hate. Fam, it's hot. Nah, it's summer. But you gotta get fly. Nah, no, no, it wasn't get, even that hot. Thank you, Alex. Tell him that. Yeah. He on. just started matching the turquoise. He don't know about when. <laughs> he don't know about the leather when it's hot out. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Nah, I don't. You right? No, you right. Okay, my bad. You wanted to be mess shorts. I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing the leather. You want him to hoochie daddy? Fam had on the whole leather, the top and the bottom. Come on, dog. Alex, it's hot. Yeah, get him. Nah, that's fly. Come on. Get okay, you. salute, King. Part of fashion is sacrificing comfort. That that's is part of fashion. True. That's true. And it has been. Oh, so for, yeah, since I'm forever. Beginning of the that's why. You on the front floor? On the comfort. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's no, coming no, no. For you. I'm on the comfort side. It's coming for you. We'll get there. Though. You change I, ice. I change every day. It's coming. That's right. Y'all see the new name? It's coming. Uh, we had a young thug uh, message, message from behind bars. I read uh, the Gunner one. The letter. Yeah, yeah. the Gunner one was kind of profound. What was it? He wrote a letter. It was a two-page letter, basically, that he put out. I think it was his birthday. Is that what it was? Yeah. I know he wrote a letter basically saying, the people that know me know me. Is this the letter? Yeah. yeah. 2022 has been one of the best years of my life despite this difficult situation. This year I had the whole world pushing P. Growing up from where I come from in a marginalized neighborhood, I never dreamt my art would change my life and the lives of my loved ones. My entire life I've seen black men, black women, and black children constantly attacked, hated, murdered, berated, belittled, silenced, judged, used, and held captive. I use my art form, my gift from God, to change my circumstance. I worked, I owned my craft, I worked, I empowered black women in my industry, I worked, I lived in the recording studio, I worked, I lived on the road, I worked, I worked every day to show how grateful I am for my gift, for my art, for my life, and to be able to provide for my loved ones. For now, I do not have my freedom, but I am innocent, I'm being falsely accused and will never stop fighting to clear my name. Oh, there's more. Mm, Two pages. The picture that is being painted of me is ugly and untrue. My fans know I love to celebrate life. I love my family. I love travel. I love music. I love my fans. I have all faith that God will grant me justice for the purity in my heart and the innocence of my actions. As black men, okay, I get it. I understand. And this was released when? I'm assuming yesterday. I think it was today. Yesterday. Well, yesterday. Today or yesterday. Recording. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday. You know what tends to happen, yo, um, especially with these young dudes because of the, the content of the music? Mm-hmm. We really kind of don't humanize them. Facts. Like, that's that's somebody's son. 
You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's somebody's yeah. kid. That's somebody's son. I don't know if they're innocent. I don't know if they're guilty. Don't I'm not even going down that path. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying at the end of the day, when he breaks it down like this, mm-hmm. you look at him differently. Like, yo, this is it. this is somebody's brother, somebody's yeah. cousin. You know what I'm saying? And when superstardom, we've kind of forget that celebrities are people. Even the shit that they say on the blogs, like about you or your family, or like they don't give a fuck. At like all. these are human beings, and so to me, the letter kind of humanized him when I was reading it. Let me read his caption. Also, it says <laughs> twenty two and two, just a bed and a shower, no windows, just walls. Can't see or talk to anyone. I'm writing now and still praying every day. I was raised to fight fire with water, even though my country's amendments have failed me. Protect black art. And that was another uh, thing at Summer Jam too. Um, the protect black art. They they have some initiative. They were asking everyone to text protect black art. It was about the lyrics being used in court. Okay. Um, Dirk brought Meek out performed a couple records and then Meek gave this long PSA he's like listen I'm one of the silent people behind this movement um, you know with his prison reform etc uh-huh. that I'm one of the people behind this this isn't about this is about all of us yeah. so just protect black art protect black art should not be allowed to be used against us no it shouldn't sign the petition yeah sign the petition man and just you know again it's just art it's just lyrics I, y'all already know where I stand on that topic you know, if you're not ser- sitting here outlining something directly, shouldn't be allowed to be used against you. Agreed. When the last pod ended, I asked you gentlemen specifically if you thought the Golden State Warriors would go down 3-1 to one in the finals. And all of you said yes, to my surprise. Mm. But y'all are sports idiots, so I didn't think y'all would get it right. <laughs> so now come in and answer for yourselves. Okay. Boston looked good in game uh, game three, so I thought. So recency bias for you? Yeah. Does the same apply to you, Ish? No, I just think Boston's a better team. I think Boston's a better team. I think um, Boston won't win another game. No, I don't think they will. Either. I've been okay. saying that before. I was saying that before this two game win streak. It's possible. Boston will not win another game in this series. Warriors in six. At some point, coaching and championship pedigree will just have to come out. And you Boston fans, yo, fans impact the game. I remember I told y'all the story. I made Jason Tatum mad before a Nick game. Mm. And one time he went crazy. <laughs> like, fans impact a game. So while I normally think that Golden State would play cute in game six just to win it on their home floor, not now. No. Nah. The Boston fans, y'all done pissed these guys off, and they're going to win it on parquet. Well, it's not parquet anymore, right? No, the old, that's the old Boston. Yeah, that's old Boston. Boston. Yeah, Boston um, they're gonna win in Boston, and this is not just because of how the series has gone. Before the series started, I never had the Celtics winning Game Six. You said that. Never said, had them winning Warriors Game is Six. Game Six. That's the. That's, that's their, their game. Right mm-hmm. They're not gonna lose that. You said that. So whatever happens before that was on the Warriors, man. And Boston didn't do what they needed to do. My take is they're finished. They go home at home. Yeah, I think they cracked their spirit in that last uh, game in Boston. I think that last quarter, yeah, cracked yeah. the spirit. Because no. I turned to it, <clears throat> well, I didn't turn. I looked at it. It was um, halftime, and Golden State was up. Mm. And then at the end of the third, it was a one point game. I said, "Oh, y'all getting ready to let them jump on your ass." What What Jason Tatum will learn is that there's levels to being Kobe. Even. Mm-hmm. Like Kobe didn't just pop up and become Kobe. No. Nah. I watched him in the playoffs shooting air balls when he was 18. Like, it's levels. You got to go through it. So you're putting a lot on his shoulders to just turn into the guy. Yeah. Like, he will be that guy. And he is the guy. But there's levels to guys. And Wardell is just different, man. Even though he didn't show up last game. No, he didn't didn't play that great in the last game. But that's why why Boston should have won that game. True. If you cannot win the game when Wardell don't show up, if Wiggins and Clay and the rest of them start beating you, then... What are we talking about here, mm. man? Uh, and that's what's so, but that's just what's so scary about the Warriors. Like even with him not showing up, he's such a threat that it allows somebody else to still cook you because you still got to. He could not show up until the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. All right, so, let me instigate. Let me instigate and try to wake you guys up. If the Warriors win, does that say anything about Kevin Durant? I've, I've been waiting to no. bring back that argument for a while, but <laughs> bring back what was your original argument for those who missed it? The, uh, it was, I think it was a Patreon episode. Um, oh, Steph uh, versus KD. That Steph, one. Steph versus KD. Well, then I bump into Amani last night, and he says something I've never heard, but maybe it should be acknowledged. 
He says if Steph wins, then that should open people's eyes up that they have KD ranked entirely too high on the all-time list. I don't know that I agree with that because well, I have I don't know eyes. If I agree with that. What do the two have to do with each other? I don't think they have anything to do with each other. I think that arguably... You know why it's being said. I do know why it's being said. I just don't think for anybody that has a basketball brain that it's relevant. This would be Steph. Golden State has replaced KD. That nigga Jordan Poole's an offensive juggernaut. He can score on anybody in the fucking world. Not going to call him a juggernaut, but I see what you're saying. Offensively, he's a problem. He ain't showed up this whole series. Yeah. He's, he ain't showed up. He's yeah. doing I can't call him a juggernaut, but he's go ahead. Killing. He's very skilled. Half of the team is not showing up. If you really want to be honest, is Steph out there playing with Wiggins? The rest of them niggas playing like shit. Looney playing okay. And the rest of them niggas are playing like shit. Clay looks whack. Uh, Draymond and his bully shit ain't working. Wiggins is out there saving the day like fucking Jesus Christ. Let's stick to our point. So You know why people would be saying this about Kevin Durant. Respond to that. I don't think the two are correlated. I think that we, I don't think it affects uh, uh, KD's standing as one of the greats. He is one of the yeah, greats. However, just, if if the does it previous the, pecking order was him above Steph, I think that you would have to reanalyze that. I think this. I think that anybody that watched basketball and watched the Golden State championships when KD was there, KD was the alpha. Like true. in the fourth quarter, KD saved the day. It wasn't like he was out there getting 19 points and was riding the coattails of them. That's not what they happened. rode KD. He was That's an integral, fact. integral, integral part of their championship run. So I don't think that dims his light. I just think they're a good basketball team. They have a great system. They're well coached and they veterans. Well, the knock before he got there was his ability to lead a team. Mm-hmm. They highlighted him leaving uh, the Thunder when he had a three-one series lead against those very same Warriors. Mm-hmm. Now I never pay any that any mind, but this will be Steph's second team. Mm-hmm. Some could say third. third, third. Really? Yes. Yeah, Some third. could say third. Third lineup for sure. But this is the third iteration yeah. that he has led to this. And some of that would, I think, have to say something about KD. Why? If, uh, I just say, if you previously had KD above Man, Steph. You, you left to be the alpha. Like the alpha alpha. The undeniable alpha. Right. Because even now, with him re- winning, and I'm not staying on this forever, I want to get to the Currys and the wife swap. <laughs> like, that's the fun part here. But, yeah, I don't even care about this. K- KD is great. Steph is great. Y'all know how I feel about Wardell. He's him. He will always be him. Uh, I think if he gets a fourth chip, you put him in a different conversation than he was previously. I think he's arguing. And he'll get his finals MVP finally. Some people say Wiggins should be acknowledged a little more for that. But yeah, y'all, We'll see what happens. In he should, next. but Steph. I don't care what Steph, Wiggins do. Steph care. is getting that award. Yeah. Yeah, he Steph, is getting that. He award. carried him on his on their back for the that first game four. He just it was something he dropped four quick, quick nah, forty. Took over. It was just yo, he couldn't miss, and they took played over. like shit again. The team is playing like shit. Mm-hmm. Outside of Steph and Wiggins, the rest of those jokers are playing like shit. Now, after game four, mm-hmm. they showed Del Curry in the stands with some white meat. <laughs> I posted that picture because I thought it was funny. Mm. I have to stop doing that. I can't act like the the Reddit people. The first person to respond to my post was who? You guessed it. Seth Curry. Oh, shit. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Really? My man. We go back to the Duke games. He's run from Monopoly for that many years, but his career took off, so I don't blame him. <laughs> but we had a brief exchange. And while I won't divulge any of it, what he did say is, Pops is outside. <laughs> <laughs> Sucked the fun right out of my joke. No, I you, think know, I think fun. <laughs> you know what it means that Pop is outside. outside. But we knew that. Yeah. Y'all, where do y'all think that Steph got th- these great shooting skills from? The, <laughs> the greatest ever. Yeah, shoot a shoot. Dell. Yeah. Y'all thought Dell stopped shooting? That's why I don't like when niggas be like, Joe, you 41. Stop fucking the bartenders. No. <laughs> like, what age do you think niggas need to be at to stop? No. He's kind of got like, you know what I mean? Like the white hat, the gray beard. Like You know what he's doing? He looks like listen. you. A few people said <laughs> that. Now listen. This was funny enough 
alone. Before you learn anything else, Dale Curry with the white woman at the game was fun. Know why it was fun for me? Because niggas, yo. <laughs> niggas. These are my kids. They've dominated the league. I've been at this game with my wife for ages. Camera's mm. been on us. It's been mm. our daughter, our family. Y'all ain't. I know the intensity of playoff games. Mm-hmm. I know the extra coverage of a playoff game. But I do got to support my boy. And hey, white meat, <laughs> why don't you come along with me? Nah, y'all missed it. Niggas dude. know the position that they put people in, yo. Remember when it was the Knicks, he hit that um, the, the record-breaking shot, right? I don't know. All right, well. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was. Steph was in. Um, Dell. Dell, excuse me. Dell was in the crowd, and he had two pieces with him. He did. He did. And was looking, and that's when it was a snack fresh. box. Yeah, yeah, had, yeah, had a little two piece. something like. And even then, it was like, oh, he's outside, outside. Like he had the shirt tucked in with the belt showing. <laughs> so he's been showing you, yo, no, I'm just me, him. Yeah. just me. Yeah. I know, but as men, we know that men can go outside. Mm-hmm. Rarely is it told that when you go outside, she, she did too. too. <laughs> she did too. She putting a dress on too. She did too. And guess what? She got tickets to the game, too. <laughs> Mom Dukes. Hey, those my kids. My yeah. kids, too, now. Uh-huh. Put me on the other side of the bleacher. Mm-hmm. Your dad is coming. <laughs> and I got a little piece coming with me. <laughs> now, that's funny already. It is. It I is. don't need nothing else, but, but the internet sometimes will be the gift that keeps on giving. Time out. They was at the same game? Yes. yes. I didn't catch that part. What? I saw the pictures. I'm like, oh, that's oh, that's fly. No, they were at the same game. Yeah, yeah, and no. first of all, and this yeah, is why no, women are shady. Only one this game. Is, this is why women are shady. Oh, I'm shit. Del Curry. I was a player. Now you break up with me and get with some nigga that look like a coach. <laughs> that nigga look like a fireman. <laughs> you look like a coach to me. Look like a <laughs> high school basketball coach. Yeah, all right. Want to try to come in as the stepdad and give Steph pointers now. Yo, hello? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Steph Curry. The fuck away from me and my mom. That nigga look like Karen husband. <laughs> so now, this gentleman is the ex-husband of the white woman that Dell brought out. Yeah. Wife swap, nigga. We need no. a reality show. No, it ain't. I'm going to get you back. I'm ready for the reality Is that your show. takeaway from this? I'm ready for the... Because for me, this is only... This is one of two things. This is either... When swinging goes wrong. Let's get back. This is either that. <laughs> oh, shit. This is either we were, we're swingers. Yeah. And something happened. Yeah, it shows up a little different. <laughs> or... Dell was Dellin. Or one of us is pettier than we should be. Delly Dell. Yeah. And I'm going to... Now, well, I'm, you go with the petty option. I could do both, but but well, pick one. I'm going with the swing I'm, going wrong. I'm going petty, and I'm, you could throw the petty on the, the swing going wrong. Could be related to the petty. It could. I, I'm know, going with that. I'm what going, going with, with Dell out here. Word. That's what you want. Watch this. You got my work. Okay. I, I'm a. <laughs> we gonna get even. That's it. <laughs> you ever I, been I, there? I, me? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Please share. <laughs> Crazy. What? I'm going to get revenge. You shoot at mine. I'm going to shoot up every, everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, I'm, I'm, you crazy? Yeah. Nigga. I'm with you. All I've, your, got, I, I've gotten revenge all for your friends. Exes. Not just one. <laughs> I want all of them. I've gotten revenge for friends. Every ex you <laughs> ever oh, had. Word. Don't let your sisters what be you, a, a... What are you saying? Good. How do you do that? What is going on? Nothing. You said expel. How do y'all so do that? If you disrespectfully shoot at mine... Your ex... If so? you disrespectfully shoot at my niggas, at your sh- ex? niggas will shoot at your current work. Yep. But if it's your ex. And if you knew it was my ex and we on that type of then, time. Then you are, you're shooting at his exes or currents for the rest of I'm life. I'm shooting yeah. at everybody. You, yes. You're, yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's safe. Yes. 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 Nobody's off. That's, if that's the game you want to play? Currently right, cool. 46 y'all. years old. If I were single and you shot at my girl. I'm shooting at everybody in your existence that is of the opposite gender. But you have a girl, so how could you do that? He said, he said if you were single. Said. He said if you were single. But he said if I was single and you shot at my girl. No, oh, yeah. if you shot, if you disrespectfully shot at I'm his. single today. Yeah. Nigga shoots at my girl. X. 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 That's where I was confused. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's on. It's, Wait, yeah. niggas can't shoot at y'all exes? Depending on Listen to yourselves on. And, and think of an <laughs> articulate <laughs> Listen, podcast to, thought I'm, and share with I'm me. I'm about to say I'm, this. If right. if it depends on the person, like mm-hmm. if you, it's I think it's you. About, I think it's about etiquette. 
So if you know such and such is my old work, and mm-hmm. this is how I operate in the world, so I'm not saying shit. If I know a nigga used to pop, I'll ask you, yo, used to pop. Yes, yo, is do. it cool if I could pop? <laughs> Yo, is, is it cool if this I could shoot? favorite question. So, if Listen a nigga says... Yo, is it cool if I could kill? Yo, so if a nigga can says... <laughs> yo, can, can I peel that thing back? Yo, so again, if, if the dude says no, cool. Then I can't kill. But... But nine times out of ten, they already shoot I don't think me. men listen to themselves. No, I'm listening. And, and I, you subscribe to this. That's how I conduct myself. Not and still, Not still today. I'm in a relationship, but if I in were the event not, that you were not, if today, I was single today, and I know that Ice used to talk to somebody or Parks used to talk to somebody prior to me even remotely going in that direction, I'm gonna ask they're okay. I'll tell you my a, a situation where this happened in my life. I was dating a girl, we broke up, but we're still kind of you know what I mean working it out, whatever, whatever, whatever. I bring her around mm-hmm. someone that you know outside friend circle. Wouldn't call him a homie, but kind of the homie. Mm-hmm. They hook up, but he's his girl. It's friends with me. She's going to be more than a friend now. We were more than friends. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to marry her out. Y'all are disgusting. You yeah. call it whatever you want. I was young. You're not young now. No. Well, he's not young now. Joe. And you, you, and you with that? Yeah, I'm with, I told got you. It. Yes. Got yes. it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I mean, I'm t- like I said, I'm taking it a step further. And I've. You say you do back. it for a friend. <laughs> Yo, I've seen one of my homies disrespected. And he kind of played it off. Okay, well, I'm not cool with that. With that, you know, you hollered, you hollered at his ex on some disrespectful shit. Okay, cool. Now I'm a yo. What I'll is get back for him? Wait, this is y'all. Of, uh, oh, <laughs> oh you man, got, you got to get back what? for your man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and and one hundred percent. What is you hollered at my ex in a disrespectful manner? That is your ex. She has nothing to do with you. And how did you find out it was disrespectful? Somebody came and told you something. Yo, you can't take that stance. Or you. You can't take that stance because in your brain you, you say to? you me or Alex you give it to me in your brain you say your exes are off limits for the end of the world. I'm listening. So you can't say yo it's disrespectful if somebody shoots at your ex. Hey, when you try to bring like a pod joke in the real life. Oh so, no no so I didn't yes, know what we talking about. So that's what you could say in your male oh, machismo see, pride and if you're living in your ego, hey, all my exes are off limits. It only take one ex to teach you that that's false. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I, I certainly don't think that I have this. Uh, hold on all of my ex's vaginas. I do not feel like that. So I, I just think that it's, it's, it's a manner of etiquette. I just feel like if if we got this some rapport... Time. I think y'all are full of shit, but this I'm is a good topic. I'm keeping it a buck. Look, if we got some rapport... Your ex is Don't now dating a new nigga that you happen to know. Depends he didn't do nothing disrespectful... No, listen. That could be the disrespect. How I know him. Yeah. Who dictates, who determines that disrespect? Y'all, me, as, me, as a me. person outside of the, the relationship, person y'all, don't think that's e- disrespect. y'all don't think that's ego and pride? The person disrespected. Oh, then that's no, right. I don't have nothing else to say. No, I just said the person that's disrespected determines the disrespect. We say that. You could come in here and say, I didn't mean for it to go that way, but if they take it that way, that's what it is. That's true. So I could take that if, if, if we cool. saying that. I got it. Like Chris Rock and Will Smith. Remember we came in and Chris Rock was like, yo, it was a silly joke. Mm-hmm. He, and everybody else's stance was, no, you don't get determined to determine if it's a silly joke. If you disrespected this man, he's the person that entitles the level. Right. Yo, it's, we're horrible examples here. What does that have to do with this? I, I just, just said, said it. Fam, if me and you know somebody you got... Know a, I'm, I'm trying to answer you. For me. I'm trying to answer you. If me and somebody got a level of a rapport, I can take that as disrespect that you shoot that He know that was your girl for three who, or you four knew that. years. You and, knew that. So I take that. But they, both, the but they both moved on knowing who you was and who you be. True. So? They did it. That's True. fine. That's fine. You are on the outside of that, that's, feeling like it's disrespectful. That's fine. They I feel like the they that, know who you be. Okay. <laughs> and, cool. and this is what we did. Oh, okay, and my this nigga. Is what and we now doing. we're here. And now Joe, we're here. But where, what are you about to do about it? I, Nothing. Well, we just told you. you. Now, don't now tell me again, because we're going in circles. But nah, ish, you just don't want to hear what we say. It's not true. In this same discussion with Pete and Kanye and Kim, I was on this stance. I was saying, hey, that's disrespectful. Ish was saying to me, who the fuck are you? To feel that way. Time Kim out. moved on. Pete moved on. They both happy. Blah, 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 blah. Well, he gave me all true. that. That's not true. It, that's different right, from my care. example. That's different from my example. I don't want to get confused. Because they enough. had that rapport. That's, where, that's what counts in my example. Yeah, not just that. He was saying that some of the things that he was doing. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's disrespectful that they're dating. Mm-hmm. 
they that's cool. I said some of the shit that was going on was the corny shit or the inappropriate shit, not the fact that they were in a relationship. Okay, mm. I got it. What is this shit you showing me? The freshman class. That looks like freshman class. If, you know they do that every year. It's time for this already. Uh, yeah, apparently so. Freshman class: uh, Baby Tron, Cochise, Saucy Santana, Babyface Ray, Kinderman, Sofago, Big Scar, Big Thirty, Casey, Dochi, Cali, Nardo Wick. I'm old. I, I'm, Congratulations to everybody. I'm, I'm sure this is a, a huge achievement for all parties involved. I don't care. You shouldn't care. I don't care. It's not for me. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna say, in in the last few years it's been a lot of who the fuck is that for me mm -hmm. I know half the names on here so I'm cool I'm not mad at that so I, I can recognize some names I know the music and a couple of these acts the ones that I know are deserving of it not saying anyone else isn't but you know I know it's a big deal for the younger acts to get the freshman cover yeah it is so, it is. so salute to everybody and freshman show and freshman freestyle will be coming we'll see mm -hmm. oh, they put Saucy Santana on the cover huh <laughs> They tried okay. to cancel Saucy. Yo, when you said that uh, Saucy was going to be hosting uh, Young Miami's show with her, the podcast, mm -hmm. I, for some reason I was thinking of Sauce Gardner, and I've been laughing in my head ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Sauce Gardner. <laughs> the, the dude that did uh, Jed's draft. in the draft. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was talking about Saucy saying. Yeah, I know. Fan. I know. But... <laughs> Once I put two and two together, I was like, oh, man, bugging. <laughs> this is no longer a music pod. What do y'all want this pod to be about? Football? <laughs> <laughs> this is like... Lifestyle. This, this is like... This is big football. Oh, Surf is here. Round of applause for hey. Surf. Hey. He made surf. it. Hey. Huh? What'd I say? No. Oh. He made it back here. He comes back after the battle rap community kicks him out of town. Hey, man. Uh, you know how I do. I, listen, I thrive <laughs> off the battle rap community, man. They, it was, on, they was on Surf's yeah. ass for a little while. That's what they do. We'll get to it later. We'll get to it later. How you doing, Surf? I'm doing great. I can't complain. You I'm look glad to great. see you guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. You look great. I'm glad to see you guys. We're glad to see you as well, brother. Good. Um, yeah, Saucy Santana tweeted some shit mad years ago about Blue Ivy. It was totally inappropriate. You shouldn't tweet those things about a child. Uh... But he later apologized. Well, he didn't really apologize. He said he was young, my bad, and I learned. And y'all be trying to cancel niggas and get the fuck out of here. I don't want to spend time on that. Lizzo put a song out and used the word spaz in the song. S-P-A-Z. Okay. Okay. And That's cancel bad. culture came out. Yes, spaz is bad. Really? Spaz is bad, yes. I didn't know that. What pull is pull the, that up. Um, pull that up. I learned this as well. Okay. What is what is it? Uh, who does it affect? Two Z's or I'm, I'm waiting for him to pull it up so I can tell you because who does I'm it learning. Affect? I've learned this. Uh, disabled people. Uh -oh. Why Lizzo's new song "Girls" is being called a bleast? A bleast. Do better. Lizzo is facing backlash on social media for using an ableist slur. Ableist? Is that ableist? ableist? Ableist. I'm just listening to surf. Fans of the pop star <laughs> are urging her to change the lyrics of the single or else remove it from streaming services altogether. Disability advocates immediately condemned the song upon its release on Friday for its use of the word derived from the term spastic. Hey, man. Can I? Can I? Spastic, That's according bullshit. to Collins Dictionary, surf, is defined as someone who is spastic is born with a disability which makes it difficult for them to control their muscles, I'm not especially with it. in their arms and legs. Mm -hmm. I'm not fucking with it. Hey, dogs. I ain't fucking with it. Niggas been spazzing since I was born. Like, that's been our word before. Who is Colin? Nah, this dictionary. I, I know Webster. <laughs> I don't know Colin. I know Webster's dictionary. Uh -huh. I don't know Colin. Colin is another dictionary. Nah, he's not valid in the hood. We <laughs> but only respect that. We Webster only respect nah, Webster. But, but Colin is telling you. Colin is telling you. He's teaching you. Hey, this word derives from this, and where, however long you've been using it, um, today it is offensive to a group What my New York niggas say? People. I'm not jacking it. Spaz is our word. She, hell no, I'm not. So now, that's no. Yeah, no. That's no. No. The we lyric not, not, in question say, that. hold my bag. Do you see this shit? I'm a spaz? And, and yes. that's a problem? Yes. They niggas can spaz out. It come from spazzing out. You got to use context clues. That where, don't mean Where does spazzing out come from? Muscle spasm, I'm assuming. So you're agreeing with Colin, right? Ish? I see where they're going. I don't agree with that shit, though. 
I think, man, I think that we are calling the fuck out of here. It's pretty cool. Yo, you're not going to start saying nothing. Yeah, you Lizzo, can't say shit. This Lizzo, shit fuck. Lizzo is one of the most unproblematic artists out there, first off. She don't... She don't do shit to, like, upset none of that. Uh-huh. Except go out and twerk in inappropriate places. But whatever. Yeah. That's her body, her clothes. choice. That's problematic. But go ahead. I... I <laughs> you know what? What? I... <laughs> I Nigga, if I went to the Laker game with, and a thong on and started shaking my ass, somebody would say something about it. It's no different. For sure. But that's not what the topic that's is. Not, yeah, yeah, Spaz. Yeah. I've said that word a bunch. I had no idea that this is where it derived from. Me either. It did. I certainly wasn't talking to any disabled people when I said it. because you're not it. familiar with the Collins Dictionary. None of us is. When I said that, man, I was about to go crazy. Yeah. We've been spazzing well, for They're they going to say go crazy is, is, is a problem now. Because crazy. True. See, and now, you see what I'm saying? Like the door that ain't nobody talking to. Wow! Now, he's, not here, there. he's not Bleep here. No, I'm, ble- I'm bleeping that. <laughs> Wait, wow! No, no, no! I'm bleeping that. I'm not as brave or as politically incorrect as you. TSK not Yo. here. Hey, be trying to buy no music anyway. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. Oh shit, Rob ain't here. Yo. <laughs> Hey, Alex, write it down. <laughs> what do y'all think about this, honestly? We know what Surf thinks. Nah, I don't think. Nah, it, it, this is too far. It's too yeah, far. Yeah, I just think that pretty soon you're not going to be able to say nothing. Like, if you go listen to all the dope rap shit from the 90s, 2000s, the shit that they were saying in those songs. Man, Biggie said she was so she was so bad, she will here suck her daddy dick. They worry about spags. <laughs> <laughs> it's other shit we could be pulling it's out in lyrics. Mad, mad shit. That we could be talking about. It was very progressive question. of Biggie to say that. That was, like, we, it's mad shit we could talk about if we want to pull out lyrics and start talking about what people meant and shit. Biggie and had a lot think, of lyrics about. He, well, that was an old Richard Pryor joke. He just repeated First off, I, that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just mad other shit. But well, he did have some mad other jokes. shit though. Yeah, it was some other shit. Richard Richard Pryor didn't yeah, say. Richard Pryor didn't know. Richard Pryor didn't know. He didn't know Jermaine at all. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Pryor didn't know Darsk and Jermaine. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I, wait, who not. else? He did wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh no, Gutter. That's what I said. I'm gonna make Gutter. I ain't repeating it, but yeah, he did. But why? You he did. Don't you know my other thing? Yeah. I don't know could you t- today? Could you say no in a lyric <laughs> something that your friend no, enjoys no, doing? Never. No, it's not it me. That. No, no, not if it was that. Yo, don't yeah. you know my nigga Antoine kidnap no, kids, <laughs> <laughs> fuck them in the ass, Yo, throw nah, them over the bridge. Nigga, That's yeah. how it is. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> yeah, nah. No, you can't say none of that. Nah, no, nigga, you can't never say that. Are Yo, imagine kidding? putting out what's beef when lyrics are being brought up in court. Damn, that y'all is got the gall. Oh no! Or All you... I make is one phone call. All y'all disappear Rico. by tomorrow, Rico. All Rico. Y- Rico. Yeah. for sure. And I don't want to hear the fucking uh, prosecutor read those lyrics. Yeah, at yeah, all. That's gonna sound nasty. What's the joint you uh, talking about? Uh, killing the witnesses, duct taping the witnesses. Yeah, yeah. all of that. Yeah, yeah. Now, nah, who's the person that picks out the lyrics that should be thought? In the hell, no. It's somebody way more... with too much time on their hands. Dude. That's all it is. All right, no, and, in a hot place no, no, though, no, no, because for the hit Come on, certain let me spots. let me jump in here. If you're an artist, you are a brand. If you are a brand, you are a business. If you are a business, typically it is your job to remain clean and far away from the third rail, uh, so you can be appealing to advertisers from big and small. Mm-hmm. So anything that you say that is offensive. Even if you don't really feel that way, you got to clean it up because it ruins your chance at advertising. But what if you? So don't we know understand why it is happening. That's the problem. Well, then, keep, well, then we whoever, keep walking but, into. No, well, whoever you're partnering with is going to get a phone call when there's public outcry, and they'll call you and say, "Hey, we need to do a re-release and redo the lyrics," well, which you, she did. Yeah, yeah, saying, which Lizzo songs. did. So congratulations, shout out to her. Awesome. I don't rap anymore, so I'm not going to use the word spaz, but that word came up a lot in my raps. That word has been around, I feel like, for 30 plus years. You know what I'm saying? Like, but as yeah, hip-hop, nah. but as be- hip-hop become, becomes more inclusive, That's true. right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And we want, do we want it to be more inclusive? Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, right? Yeah. And because Parks, yeah, that word has been around, but so is the F-bomb. True. Yeah, sure. In hip-hop. Oh, absolutely. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, once you I don't think that's the same. I'm just saying that Joe, word, Joe. At, there was a time where it was allowed to be said, absolutely, without any. any Not that long ago. That's all I'm saying. Not that and long then ago. what happens is more people learn. You realize words are hurting people and how they're affecting people, and you correct that. 
and they go back and crucify people for old shit. So, like, if an artist was to come out today and say that, yeah, it's a problem. You learn this word today is problematic. She's doing the right thing by fixing it. And then another, you know, somebody else might not put spaz in their lyrics going forward because now we know this is on the list of shit you can't say. Yeah. Yeah, your verse might be trash if you don't say spaz. <laughs> well, say it. In, did you in, or did you not spaz? Yeah. Are, are you spazzing or not? <laughs> say it. Sorry. And risk your advertising and branding then. Well, you talking to me? I would. I, I, I would. We, we no, don't think. Would. I would. Yeah, say you come on the track. McDonald's I'm about to cancel you for spaz. You said McDonald's won't cancel you. Can't can't I don't think McDonald's is canceling the life of spies. All right. Do Lizzo got a Happy Meal? No, but if she did, I don't think McDonald's is taking it down because of spies. She the one yeah, that she no. get. She the one that she get. That's for <laughs> real. I said that yeah. Lizzo sauce would be different. You can't. All right, let's move on. <laughs> 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 nah, Lizzo look like a fun time. Yeah, In a fun time type of way. Never mind. This is something that's totally different. <laughs> no, no, no. But what's no, a fun time type that. of way? Like a good person to You around. kill? Nah, I don't know if I kill. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <mad before. laughs> Yo, you know what's great about the young niggas? They always entertain that question like it's the real serious yeah, thing. Yeah, they really start to think about it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, yo. I look, look, she lifting that shit up in there. It's fine, sir. <laughs> it's fine. It is fine. She lifting that shit up. Nah, she's like a good time. Like a good bowling. <laughs> Game night uno. Jenga. Drunk twister. I don't know if I could get around Lizzo and Twister, but that'd be fun. Twister, Lizzo, come on. I'd say let's move on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't getting me. <laughs> He's thinking of all the yeah, scenarios. I'm, I'm too. Like Shut right out to Lizzo. Yep. But I, Peace and love. <laughs> Leave it in the comments what you think. Getting right out of that one. Okay, now on the versus news. It's the versus cast. It's the versus cast. Yo. Joel Santana says that he wants Lloyd Banks in a versus. <laughs> Just give it to me. Just give it to me. That's a good matchup. I need to hear your fucking thoughts. Give it to me. That's a good matchup. Uh, I think that uh, Banks is obviously, well, I don't want to say obviously. Uh, I think he's a better rapper today. You said it. You said it. All right, I said it. Fuck it. I think today he's a better rapper, but Joel's has a lot of joints. Like, that's that'd be a Joel's was a lot of part of a good, some good joints. Yeah. He, and he had solo joints. has verse. Oh, no. I ain't even talk, get to his solo joints yet. I'm just talking about the hits that he had verses on. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's got verse, like some crazy verses next to Wayne. Some crazy verses. Mm -hmm. Like, he's a part of damn near all dip sets. Like, dip sets. Smokers. Yeah. Smokers. And you, ever go, banks. you ever go for a walk in the park because it's a beautiful day out, but as soon as you get to the park, you got to piss, so you got to find a bathroom or get out the park? Sure. <laughs> you else going to use bathroom. That's about you the, that was my next my Excuse next statement me? was Banks was well, a part of G Unit's heyday. I did. True. I did. Ice. Wait, wait, both of y'all said that. We both. Ice and Ish. Yeah, you bugging. You disrespected Jewels. Nah, he just had You're not putting enough. You're not putting enough. Them dips had niggas had a lot of hits, yo. Before you even get into the Jewels and um and Wayne bag, before you even get into solo now, bag. What Jewels and Wayne bag? All that mixtape shit that them niggas was doing. He could, he, yeah, you could use any. That's the tiny bag. That's the tiny bag. You put, little, you put a sour power in there. You could use anything in the verses. verses. You play any of that. You, you, yeah. Now the problem is you don't want about, that. We talking about logistics. Is this in New York or is it Miami? Sir, if you be quiet for two seconds, let them explain why they think I am wrong in what I'm saying about Jewels. I just think that y'all are arguing Jewels, and that's my man, man. I think the Dipset catalog is just too impactful. Too impactful to what? Hip hop. You just watched what the Dipset catalog did against another impactful. That, catalog. that was, a, that was the point I was gonna make. Lloyd Banks Banks to that was the lines. point I was gonna totally make. Yes, is, I am. Is, is, no, you're not. Totally is different. the execution of of the of the uh, catalog that may be a problem because we've seen that. Do you be know a that Lloyd Banks was in G Unit? I do, man. I do. He got a lot of. Soul you can't compare too. Lloyd Banks to the Locks, who had a 30 year run in hip hop. Give me a score. I'm just saying this. I have this being very. This is a great matchup, and I have this being very close. Same. I love it. That's all. I'm. That's why I say you got Banks. Fucked. I think I mean, it comes down to. Up. I think it comes down to the way they the like delivery, like yeah. the way the show is presented. That it literally comes. That's how like Lloyd it's Banks, close. Lloyd Banks wins this by seven. You. No. By seven songs or more. Out of your mind, you bugging. What? I love Banks. That's big, bro. I love Banks. I love that's Banks, the big too. homie. By seven, he separates it by seven songs. I said what I said. 
Jewels is my man. I, I say this as respectfully as I can say. I got it. Banks and seven songs is Banks crazy. has too many records. That's a point. Too many records. That's a point. I, I don't know. You looking at me? But I, you know what? I I ran into this with Dipset versus the Locks too. Mm-hmm. When I said the Locks are gonna run them out of town, and everybody in New York said that I was a lunatic. I even called drama right before the battle. Mm-hmm. I'm documented. That don't change here. Jewels don't have the records to go against fucking Beamer, Benz, or Bentley. He's on that record. So? <laughs> who you think is playing it? What are you he, talking who about? Who are you talking about? They, they're going to do that who together. Who is playing it? They're going to do that together who? if they do it. That's Ice. what's going to happen. All right, that's cool. So put answer, that to the an, side. No, answer my question. Who is going to play that record? Lloyd Banks is going to play that record. And then Jewels can use his he verse come exactly. out in that same round. What are you round? talking about? We've seen that in the oh verses. Oh, my Lord. No, we have not. We've seen them end with the song they did together, but one of them played it. So follow what, respond to what I'm saying. I don't care if they perform together. Lloyd Banks did his song. Jewels came out and did the verse. That's the grand finale. But that's my okay. song. Okay. It's a point. Victory is a point. Started up is a point. A few of them, a few of them, a few of them girl records is a point. The G Unit records, some of them, it's a point. You know what I give Jewels guarantee points? Uh. You know, did say anthem, of course. Mm-hmm. Hey ma, hey ma. Yeah, right. No, that's a guarantee. Right. I don't see how you could say that. Go yeah, right. run it. Go back run it down. With Chris Brown. Yeah, go right. back down, Alex. Up. Yeah, okay. right. Said, run right. it with Chris Brown. Is yeah, right. Punk too? music. No, I said hey ma. On, hey ma is not a guarantee point in no verses. Go up, Alex. In no verses. All right. Stop. All right. I know that. I know that's y'all shit. It's not a guarantee point in no verses. What? With Lloyd Banks, huh? the His... whistle song. Point. Where? All right. Where? All right. This All right. nigga. Is Where crazy. is the whistle song a point? Yo, stop, yo. Start it up ain't no guarantee point, Joe. Okay, I think it is. I think it is. Can I? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm cool. Is, yo, I, I don't. Hey, yo, I'm, 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 if they I'm running it in New York, oh, if they running it in New York, he is talking crazy yeah, right yeah, now. If they play this in New York. If they running it, if they if, if they if gotta play it in New York, they both from New York. You're fucking. You they both from New York? Santana Town a point? No. Oh, you really showing right, your right, age right now, talking no, about Hema and Santana. No, he's Tana. not. Nigga. No, he's not. No, he's not, not showing his no, age. Not. Nigga, I'm older than him. Right. Is. You know what? You are absolutely right. You are. How is Santana's how do Hema not go up in New York? <laughs> right. Yo, dog. Yo, I ain't how do <laughs> Banks catalog go up in New York, but Joel's catalog not go up in New York? And I got Banks winning. This twelve eight for me. Seven songs. Then I'm then I'm wrong on the score. Banks is winning this. I would love to see this happen. I'm there if this yeah. happens. Yeah, you get me excited. Set Thank this up. <laughs> and Jewels, I say this as respectfully as I can. I know what you did. I know what you do. Banks is different. And I'm going to keep it a buck. That ain't say his top three, I don't five, like, I don't like what Jewel said points. in the beginning. Bleak is too easy. I don't like that. Bleak ain't no walk in the park, bro. I got Bleak beating Bleak you up too, by the way. Bleak is heavy not, songs. That's Bleak is not a walk in the park, y'all. I, I have Bleak beating Jewel's 20. too, or coming closer. You got Bleak with twenty. Yeah, yeah. But Bleak, Bleak, Bleak definitely. Yes. Yeah. Bleak one hundred percent. Rock 20. records. Yes. Yeah. No, no, yes. no. Twenty good ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not twenty. I don't like not, that. Not, Bleak not, I'm just scraping for losing. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that statement. That, yeah. He gonna Bleak, pay for it, fam. Bleak got twenty. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Pay for Bleak, it. Bleak got a twenty that you would have to really like. He'll remind you. Oh nah, he shit, do. he, will. he I will. I do think that Banks is way more calculated and strategic than you. Than than you. Like Banks will make it make sense. That's mm. why I got Banks winning. I do, but that the, the numbers crazy. Yeah, I, he took. He said like his, your first three, four, his top joints yeah, ain't he said, points. He said Santana's town out of. He points, said five. So of them. I just left it yeah, alone. Five of that. them wasn't points, and these are like the ones we all actually waiting for while we're there. All right, let me, let me ask these. you something. This is just off the top of my head. Hey, Ma comes on. That's y'all shit. Uh, Banks come on with that. I don't know that. I am the one you Because I, I do pick Hey, Ma in that. Do y'all think the masses do? I don't. Yeah. Yes. 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 New York, yes. I don't. New York? I don't. Yes. I don't. Oh. I don't. Yes. I do not think the masses pick Hey, Ma over Karma. I think that's y'all New York bias. I don't have New York bias. Well, let's move on. There's more versus cast stuff to beef about. Okay, there is, let's get it. There's rumors of uh, a Mario, a Mario and Mario. Mario, find the nearest bathroom, buddy. Now, now, now I'm rolling with you. Find the nearest bathroom. Joe, be right, yo. I don't care whether y'all Mario, rolling don't do or not. That. Don't do that to yourself. Mario, you my mans, yo. I hate when I got to talk about my mans on this pod. Mario, <laughs> my guy. 
Just leave, leave, and, leave other all nigga, alone. and other niggas don't want no smoke. I like maybe Mario versus Lloyd, maybe. Okay. A Marion okay. should be regarded differently than he is. Same with Banks. A Mario is not the one for you R and B niggas to tap on the shoulder because you're, you're gonna learn you something on a nice eighty a degree day. A Mario. A Mario. <laughs> Whatever his name is. <laughs> nah, Amari, I got too much shit. Like, these are too to many old. records. You gotta leave him on. Oh, touch. I'm trying to honor I'm, I'm trying, trying to have them all just like solo girlfriend. <laughs> speak. That's oh, just speak. The solo yes. shit. Yeah. He got too oh, much no, shit. Oh, no, you better. Yes. Oh, post to be a still. Yes. On, yeah, po- we didn't get to MIA yet. Bam, leave him Rest alone. in peace, Biz Marquee. We're friends. I got Amari on beating uh, Mario by 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I might have That's more a than that. Yeah. I'm not even trying to be funny. Yeah. No disrespect. Off the top, like as a as a music head, off the top, you gonna give I'm giving Mario. Just how do friend. I breathe? And just a friend. Yeah. Those are the two songs oh, that I can do, think how of. How do I breathe? He might lose sorry, by. Sorry, buddy. Just I'm a friend. You, yes. I'm gonna give you breakup I'm depending getting, on what it goes up against. Breakup depending yes. on what it's up against, though. Let me love you. Yes. Oh, Somebody you else. Point. Yes. Let me love you. That's where this ends. I don't. Let me love you. a point all day. He scores there. That's his ace. He might lose by he might win he might get four points. Big joker. Get like five. Let me love you wins against anything that Amarion is gonna play. For sure. Anything. How do I breathe is a monster. That's a point for me. Dep- I think that how do I breathe depends on what it matches up with, yeah. but it like has a high chance of winning. Yeah. But how so do I breathe is a good just record? Be talking. Shut up. Bam. How do I breathe not a good record? Fuck up. This is Amari on by like That's an 15. amazing song. You out your mind. I've been. Yeah. I know. I've been. You, you be disrespecting some shit, Joe. I don't know how niggas be liking you. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't be up, liking bro. me. Yeah, nah, he got to chill, though. This was a joint. This, this come joint? on. Everybody mother know this. This is a joint. Nigga, we know this. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's right in between two different... Ch- what am I, the only nigga in the world with the How Do I Breathe instrumental? And it's, <laughs> what, like, what, is, what is going, what is happening right now? I said, how did he DJ that? should sound like a TV in track. In my mind, I'm like, he's a great DJ. You got the instrumental. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody high him. You should be on a cruise. You well, supposed to put some well, bars guess on what? this? It, you should be DJing on a cruise. Guess what? It don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. I ain't gonna lie. It's, take that it's, shit to East Orange, whatever that fuck you talking about. This versus, how do I... I just pulled up anything. It's a fight. I'm sorry, yo. Oh, it's, not yeah. Yeah. it's not a fight. It's not a fight. It's not a fight. It's not a fight. This is this is an ass whooping. Mario will learn the hard way. <laughs> Joel Santana, he will learn the hard way. I will give you this with the Joel's one, because that was the main thing about that Dipset locks versus. It was the performance and the fact that there was no chemistry amongst Dipset like that. Facts. And so I'll depending take- on how Joel's performs these records, that's gonna be the deciding well, factor. We, we forget. We forgetting that the sound system for Dipset sounded like trash. That's true too. That, but that's because oh they were rapping gosh, over their up. own. Let me beats. finish. That's, you, let me I finish. mean, they're songs. And then Jada Kiss went up there and put on a master class in performance. Mm. We're not gonna act like the Dipset songs when you play them don't hit. But look, I've ish. seen girls lose all they prissy cool when them Dipset songs ish. come on. I was that, outside. I've seen that with a lot too. Look, ish, that's part of the performance because they were rapping over the actual track. We're That's not, why it sounds like shit, though. We're not even, you hear, I'm talking about song for song. Song for song. Yeah, but so, again, performance, and it matters. That's uh, why Dipset shit didn't hit the way they should have hit. Them Dipset niggas, niggas that's not even in the hip-hop, know them Dipset niggas songs. And them songs did not hit. Why? Are we not di- I'm talking I'm about the why. songs. I'm not talking about the locks battle. I'm talking about the actual song. Fuck the performance. We agree in yeah, on that. You, it's, I'm it's, talking it's, it's about the singles you can play song. at white collar parties. Yeah, white collar parties, I'm with you. I'm, with you parties, for sure. I'm trying to tell you that it's not us listening to it in our headphones. We're going to hear it the way it's presented at the verses. True. That's yeah, going to dictate say, how a record hits. Now, who's to say the Lloyd Banks set going to be... I'm not going to lie. I got, nah, I got karma over... Oh, you came on. What the fuck? The song is just... What the fuck is this? It's the hook, It's the hook. I don't get it, but it's fine. It's the, I might got karma over. Hey, ma, now, that you hook was crazy. Santana Town out of point, so I, I'm I'm cool. Yeah, I was done with him. Now he said like five things in a point. Yeah, yeah, so I'm straight. If that's not yeah, a point, you It's because I can't point. talk music with you niggas with fan ears. That's the problem. And that's the, no, that's not the problem. That's why this nigga loses because you gonna get in your technical bag, and the average fan has fan ears. Yo, I'm ninety nine percent on where, my versus predictions. 99? I'm 99% on my versus. I got Preem wrong. I got uh, I got Preem wrong. There's one more that I got wrong that I don't remember right now. 
I've got two wrong to my knowledge. All right, ninety five percent. Okay. So. Still got that being a close versus. Yeah, like that's a it's good not fans a are the niggas that's going to be in the versus. And again, stop disrespecting Bleak. That was, uh, that was about to say that was a stop. bad. That was a bad tweet right there. That was a bad tweet. Stop disrespecting. That's a bad Bleak. tweet right there. Don't do that. Bleak that shit got nine retweets. You tell you, yeah, that's yeah. that's this real Twitter, right? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of that, that, ain't, that ain't that ain't circulate in the that ain't circulate in the world well. Not yet, bro. That was an hour ago. If if the right person. That was a bad tweet. That's what yeah. that means. What do you mean? It could, that could have been up for 10 <laughs> but minutes. But you know what, though? It's, that's not just UL's, yo. Hip hop as a whole does not respect Bleak enough. They don't. That's 100%. I I've said that a bunch. I don't know why it is, but I don't want to sound like the old nigga trying no, to tell the young t- niggas about nah, why they should appreciate it. It's very easy. It's very easy. Somebody else. It when Hov cannot said he could be Batman's. Hit, when, yeah. when Hov said he could be one hit away his whole career, people kind of just held that as a Yo, we don't. We. That's, That's the good point. That's what it was. We don't talk about that enough. We don't talk about the bad, the bad that comes with a big cosign sometimes. Mm. It's a lot of pressure. Running next to Batman. It can't because it can't be two Batmans. You automatically put yourself in that. Like, if this is Jay Z, Robin and this is, saved Batman ass at the end of one of the movies right. and the cartoon. He, he helps the movie, but he's not Batman, and you yeah. can't be Batman if, like, you know how much shadow Le- being next to LeBron is. No matter how great you score, at all microphones are going to be at LeBron at the end of the game. You walking straight to the locker room. That's just the way. So, sometimes- but the same way LeBron can walk in any gym in the world and feel good with whatever is in his toolbox. I think Bleak can walk in any hip hop conversation with his catalog and be respected. Not with the way this generation is right now. They don't even like, know. Then they get, need to go they listen to to his catalog. They get for sure, at, do as the little man. Like you, you, you look, you man, man. You get what I'm saying? Like you, you, you look. I just think this coach is a disrespectful. Like this time that we in, like right yeah, now, he is he a disrespectful. Also, that's back to my inside outside thing. We won't get back on that. <laughs> But the same way you had to deal with Allen Iverson in 2001 if you happen to be in Miami and he was there. Yo, Bleak was in Miami too in 01. Uh, Bleak, Bleak. <laughs> I was out there, yo. yo nigga, I had just got a deal. You ain't have to go to Miami. I had a new st- beginner's <laughs> chain that I was wearing <laughs> that a few of the JV thotties liked. <laughs> oh, nice. But then you walk in the club with niggas that are headlining for the night in the club. Like the niggas that got a big bag to just show up. And that was Bleak at that time. You had to deal with Bleak. And you walked in there in a sea of women and watched him do, mm-hmm. do my ladies, is that your chick? Sure. But he start going crazy, and then you look and say, "Oh, that was mm-hmm. a down. Re- it's, it's not oh, enough respect. It's different. He got one of them sneaky sets like Wiz, like Fat Joe. Mm. Not enough is said about the sneaky set. Fuck you, little young niggas. If y'all don't know it, I think right. it's mostly because he stopped being active musically, just being out, outward, outwardly active. Yeah, right? Well, not true. It. He start. He, he was signing people. No, right. no. I'm talking about as a artist. as an artist. Yeah. Right. Oh, bleak response. Yeah, but I want to. Oh, I want to see what he said. I wish I want Bleak to come out for smoke against these niggas. Somebody. What did he say? He might really hurt you. Like on an OG tip, he might hurt you. All that coming to age shit. It's, that's that's like etched in stone in hip hop forever. Joel can't play nothing against coming of age. That's like when you oh, yes, think he about it. He played New York Tampa. He can play I mean, what? He played Dipset Anthem is his greatest record and one of coming our, of like, New age. York's greatest. He's about coming of age though. That is Eston. I don't have either one. I don't have coming of age both beating both. uh dips at anthem. I don't. I don't either. And y'all are right. Performance is a large part of verses. It is. Mm-hmm. I know that Banks has been locked in a house in the fucking breathalyzer lungs room like Mariah got in her <laughs> house, like that protects your lungs. Uh-huh. He's fine. I tell you, he can get out there and say ninety words per bar. Mm-hmm. Like he never missed a beat. Look, he's in great shape. He's in great health. I'm telling you that. 2019, Banks had the uh, 15 year anniversary for Hunger for More. Uh huh. Sony Hall. I was at that show, and he went through the whole album plus his hits afterwards. Must have been an hour, hour and a half set. Good set. Smoked it. Mm. It looked like O3 Banks. Hour and a half set is grown. Look, look like it looked like O3 Banks. So to me, the performance part is what is is. They both got the records. They both got a mean twenty that stack up well against each other. I've that was my real last two, ignorant of Jewels to say that about Bleak. I'm mad about that. Let me just say my, my, my last two times seeing 
Jewel's mm-hmm. performance. I don't know how that stacks up against that Banks. Yes, mm-hmm. you do, but you won't say it because it don't support your argument. You do know how it, how it stands against Banks. Mm. It's hard to stand against that. <laughs> I'm going to say that. They got the records, but the performance is what's going to change that. And All right, so Rolling Loud. We got Rolling Loud, right? We got a, we got a uh, Rolling Loud uh, attendee here sitting yeah, on the couch. Yeah, yeah. Surf, surf bum ass is on Rolling Loud. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You on Rolling Loud? Look there. Uh, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. right? Sun- <laughs> Bitch. Right. I think you on Wednesday night. I'm, I'm on ro- <laughs> rolling a little loud. Uh, well, they roll, put, wait, wait, wait. wait. Mid. Oh, wait. They put surf on there because it's a little rolling loud bar. No, I actually got music. Actually. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? Fuck I, that I, shit. Got <laughs> what the fuck? I got shit. I got shit. I got shit. I got my, you better check my streams, bitch. Uh, I actually fan base and music. What time are you going on? Noon? I don't know. Look. Let me see. All right, what's you going been, on? You had Rolling Loud before or that wasn't in your time? I would not go to Rolling Loud because it's the feds. I didn't ask you what you was. Was it at it's your time feds. or no? I don't give a no, fuck who it, it is. No, they right. just came It wasn't at your time. Dinosaur age. Something shit. like that. Okay. <laughs> I got it on my resume. Yo, congratulations. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank yeah, you. Fuck him. I'm going to come check you out, Yeah, you stay the fuck home. It's in Queens. I'm going. Ha. You going to get arrested too. I'll be Shit, outside. I'm not gonna be. You know what I mean? Like, Park's gonna fold. Park's, I'm not gonna be in the building. Yeah, who you came? Did you come with surf? <laughs> All right, let's see. Friday we got Nicki Minaj, Uzi Vert, Lil TJ, the Baby, Moneybag Yo, Fabio, Sleepy Hollow, that? Chief Keef, Young Lean, Rowdy Rebel, Bia, G Herbo, Nardo Wick, West Side Gun, City Morgue, Danny Brown, Skill Being, Skill Bang. Skill bang. I don't know. <laughs> I'm reading the niggas I know. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Saturday, ASAP Rocky. Lil Baby, A Boogie, Don Tolliver, Busta Rhymes, Lil Tecca, Kevin Gates, Shaq West, Key Glock, Joyner Lucas, Soldier Boy, Conway the Machine, Shin Chia. I hate all these shits. I ain't gonna hold you. And Sunday, we have Future, 21 Savage, Big Sean, Pusha T, Ski Master, Slump God, St. John, Fat Joe, Oliver Tree, Dage Loaf, Love Dage Loaf, Benny the Butcher, 2C, Boldy James and Alchemist, King Comb, Sue Surf. Doughboy. Doughboy, I don't see Currency. Doughboy. Sunday. Doughboy, Currency. Currency. I see. I see. I'll say, hey, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ishman sure. Simba's up there that we played the last there. couple of sleepers from. It's a nice lineup. Ishman made some phone calls? Oh, please. That's a nice lineup. It is a nice lineup. It's three nice nights of lineups. I mean, yeah, it, it was. Three great nights of line- My beef with the festivals are things that have less to do with the music and the performers there. I like, get it. So I want to shut up. Y'all can tell me what y'all think about this. Shout out to all the artists here. Shout out to Surf for being on here as well. But I think they're not paying most of these niggas what they should be paid. Of oh, course yeah. I do. Yeah, you told us. And I think a lot of niggas gonna get arrested again. Mm-hmm. So don't bring the. I say the, that the as someone that's thing. gotten arrested at a show. <laughs> like, there's so pro- I shouldn't bring in the gang. I shouldn't bring the guys. In an honest, in an honest opinion, sir. Um, at this point, all I do is say to your mom, "Yo, I know." <laughs> I'm like you can you do, you can do what question, you want. Bro. When your mom call me, I'm gonna say, "No, I said that." I'm asking you an honest <laughs> question, bro. Why are you bringing up my mother? <laughs> <laughs> that don't fly off podcast. Because you gonna get. Hood, you gonna... <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. That's only acceptable on air. Why are you bringing up my mother? Yo, I said, "Is it cool to bring the guys to Rolling Loud?" Are you supposed to get me up? I would big I, broad pain. I would bring the guys that you could bring to these things. Okay. Not them guys that y'all was on tape in Atlanta uh doing that. Because it's don't, gonna be a lot of don't guys. Don't bring them. Because one well, nigga see, the bring two is, niggas. See, but this one I don't understand. Go ahead, because I'm gonna talk. You can just say no <laughs> to doing the show? Yeah, but you can't. I'm not right? missing no, no, I'm not missing this exposure. And actually they pay me that. very like in the world that I, they pay me very well. So I mean to the to the statement that you made. So I got a nice check for this to be where I'm at and I ain't never have this a lot of exposure for me, so I think a lot of people's not turning down rolling Don't out. Go but you're up. different. You Joe Button. Don't go up there with guns. Nah, no guns. Hell no. Who's taking I mean, guns to fucking have no guns. rolling oh, no. out? Oh, no, I don't they even own them. guns. No, 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 no. No, they're taking them. They are you said who's taking Nigga guns? Scared to of New York yeah, security. Scared of New York. Man. Hey yo. Just, y'all niggas got nice guns I be seeing on the news. 
Yeah. Hey, right. hey, they put them little pretty guns what across the table. The table. Uh-huh. I mean, oh shit! Sky, sky blue Damn, that was that nigga. <laughs> See through <laughs> clip. Yeah, sky blue clip. Them niggas, yeah, these niggas guns is pretty nowadays. I swear to God, I seen some shit I really them had them. on on Call of Duty. On, I said that boy got an MP5 with a uh, <laughs> G16 2.5 nah, scope. Them, them guns be so pretty. I side with the police sometimes. Like, thank God he got that one <laughs> out of the Bronx. <laughs> what he was gonna do with that shit in the Bronx? <laughs> <laughs> no deer in the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Buffalo. Yeah, Why no, sir. We what yeah. the fuck is that? Yeah, nah, they be taking that some shit. That be off the streets. You niggas be niggas having had a joint. bazooka. They couldn't put this shit on the table. It was laying hey, on the chair. They was just. They <laughs> 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 shit had a fucking bazooka. I said, how the fuck did that get in Jersey? Oh, man, yo. <laughs> you sitting get... at a light and a missile fly by. Is... Excuse me? <laughs> if you sitting at a light and a fucking missile <laughs> fly past your car. See that's the other side. That's my second thought. When I, when I go somewhere, I go places. Right. I be like, "Yo, I don't see side. enough black people here." And then my next thought is, "What if a missile just flew?" <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how do you? <laughs> how do you? What? It's <laughs> the same way they do it. No I'm guns missing. are rolling loud, man. Bring security. Roll security. I'm just gonna get security. Mm. That's all. That's smart. That's yeah. that's mature. It's mature. It is. That's yeah. mature. Yeah, it's it mature. Is. mature. Cause as, as an artist, no. you really be wanting to like. Don't not, get the security that that run away when they go there. Yeah, it's some it's some trash security. You gotta get you some good security. Be careful now. As an artist, the average artist coming up though, you don't, it's not like you want the homies to be security, but you would rather feel comfortable. Like, all right, Which cool, it's me and my yeah. it's me and my niggas. Yeah, yeah. And you so put money we, in your people pocket. Come pocket. on, we that's what yeah. I'm saying. Nah, we and fi- you just feel comfortable no, no. walking around with your niggas. If we fifteen, well, and, and the fucked up part is right. It's like fifteen homies is equivalent to you by yourself and two three security guards. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in, in, in a weird yeah. type. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, it's like, you having 12, 13 homies, it's like, am I going to do the security thing or am I going to bring the homies? <laughs> I just love them. Yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Thanks, Parks. <laughs> I don't know nothing about this homie shit he talking about. <laughs> it's hard to not, like, it's, it's hard to not, you F- know what I mean? 15 homies is equal to three security? In a sense, like, in a weird type of explanation mm-hmm. way of, like, when you have professional trained security that can legally possess whatever yeah, they need to legally need a lot of possess, them. I feel yeah, justice. Need a lot I feel justice. Yeah, I feel justice. Come right. That's right. what I'm saying. If I got three security guards, I'm by myself. I feel just as comfortable if I'm with 10, 12 of my homies. But listen, do you see a lineup like this, right? And maybe see somebody else on the lineup that? No, this don't even need... look like a messy lineup. This don't look like. No, they don't look to like. Who? To us or the police? Yeah, I was gonna say. Good I question. Mess. I see. It, yeah. I guarantee you, somebody get arrested. I'm I not, guarantee you that, and that's, that's not me. Bet. Yeah, it's a safe bet. Listen, I've seen enough. I'm not. Oh, and speaking of, nobody. 22 G's has just been arrested, right? Mm-hmm. And he's on the Sunday. Yes, he's on lineup. Uh, he may be released uh, before me, this. Yeah, he's already. He's giving me the creeps. Barn. So, you, so the feds gonna be there? Yeah, for but sure. wait, time out. If he gets released, you think he still comes to do this show with all that extra heat? If he on bail. It's New York. Yeah. When they perform and become yeah. like, might do it. Might have to do it. I need the bag. <laughs> What's I need wrong? Whatever I'm getting paid for. What, that. When, when did this I can't turn down no like checks. So like creepy. Yo, I can't remember the last major festival that happened and some type of arrest or some type oh, yeah. of bullshit didn't yeah, happen. That's crazy. It's lockup season. When did when did writing lyrics become a matlock episode? That part. When niggas start telling on these. No, songs. we know. We know. When I'm just saying, performing is the same shit. Mm-hmm. It's the same yeah. shit. They didn't tell us how they got that uh, Roddy Rich car. They didn't tell us why they pulled him over either. Talking about it was a checkpoint. No, they, they said checkpoint. They said, they said checkpoint. No, so I, th- I think the, he. I think he had security, like hired security, and they saw whatever they saw in the car, and then so told. They saw a gun in the car, yeah. Nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> see what I see. What I read said checkpoint. Yeah, I saw a checkpoint. But even that sounded like bullshit. You saw at a festival, y'all don't even have the time to check all this shit. I went to Summer Jam and my African driver got me everywhere I needed to go just because y'all don't even have the time to check some of this shit I'm saying. Yo, you an artist? Yeah. All right, go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all ain't got time to vet shit out. Uh, I don't want to see Roddy Wish. Tell me what 22 G's was arrested for. Hold on, Joe. That's the problem now, though, because there's been instances where they haven't vetted shit out and shit pops off inside the venue. Or nah, not just that. You was dolo. So now they really trying to crack down on not. We got to stop it before it gets in here. Yeah. Were you dolo when you went to Summer Jam? Uh, Oof. yeah. So well, you. Corey's with me. I'm just saying. So two dudes. All right, go ahead. When it's seventeen little motherfuckers Full in the car, cars, with right? seven seven 
ounces of weed burning at one time, it's a different ball game. I hear you. What if I knew how to make a sneaker bomb? <laughs> then what? You, you're the tick tick in there. I'm just saying, but it it is way less inconspicuous conspicuous than seven eight jokers in the in the, in the suburban. A Brooklyn based drill rapper was arrested after landing at J- uh, JFK Airport Sunday morning and later charged with attempted murder in connection to mar- uh, to a March shooting. Rapper 22 G's, whose real name is I'm not saying, faces charges from a March 6th early morning shooting inside a Marine Park Brooklyn party hall where a 31-year-old man suffered a gunshot wound to his left foot. The victim had provided a description of the suspect before he was transported to Brookdale University Hospital for treatment. He better not have died. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, he didn't. Just a little pow-pow on the foot. That's what I said. Said, hey, like, nigga, get away from me, pound. That's below the waist, bro. <laughs> Why they trying to charge my son with attempted murder? He shot that man in his foot if he shot him. Allegedly. I mean, that's one way to look at it. That's not true. <laughs> Allegedly. That don't mean nothing. From what I, I thought, below the waist is no, not nigga. like a... If no. you let off... Ain't no guarantee you knew where you was going to hit him at. Shout I out to the police listening. <laughs> I mean, hey, I don't know the nigga. I don't know the side, man. I don't know the nigga. I don't know the kid. being inside. I'm with you. Right with the Oculus. I'm with you. I was outside, but once they started doing like this shit, <laughs> I left. <laughs> <laughs> I was out there, but once I overheard some of their plans. In the bathroom. I went, I went home. <laughs> I got a home, nigga. <laughs> hey, nigga, I Ta-da. shot my foot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Oh shit the street lights on <laughs> <laughs> Look, Looks like my kill <laughs> Oh I'm joking around But I shouldn't joke about this The 24 year old rapper was also charged with second degree assault Two counts of second degree criminal possession of a weapon And first degree reckless endangerment Damn Jeez. Good, good luck And while we're on this subject Or off of this subject What I have learned over the weekend And I probably knew this already Joe Joseph Anthony Budden Jr. Me, I am not built to watch murder <laughs> on video on my phone. I ain't yo. Nah, it should be a little disturbing. I ain't. I don't watch that it. little clip that went around and niggas in the uh, pharmacy. Did y'all see it? Yes. The lo- the, the if you didn't see it, you probably don't want to see it. From New York. In New York, yeah. they did. That was ridiculous. That was crazy. West Coast rapper. The West Coast drill rapper, something like that. The young kid, right? That was stupid. I want to get his name right. Man. That was really, really dumb. Or maybe I'm not street, so I don't understand. If if you... They wanted his chain. He didn't give his chain up. So they butchered him. They slaughtered him. Like stood over top top of him like he was a hop. And let me not say they. Because it was one person. See, and that's the other part where that stuff gets confusing. You go out and do some shit with a group, and then one nigga do something that nobody planned on him doing. Right. Mm-hmm. But now it's us. And now it's, yeah, now we got to wear that. Now we co-defendants. Yeah. I sympathized with that, that young man that was on the ground running for his life. And my thing was, and this is maybe where I'm old school, y'all beat him up already. You won. He's on the floor. Y'all jumped him, kicked him, nigga grabbed the umbrella, did everything he had to do with the umbrella. There was no need to kill anybody. But I say that as someone that's not a killer, ain't trying to be one, ain't trying to think in the mind of one. Mm-hmm. But that was a lot. Come in, nigga. Come on. Come on, y'all fa- families. Come on inside. Look at the guys. Mano here. My, it's my, hey. Uh, let's go, D. Okay, now listen. Like, you nah. see Podcast. I love a mess. This is great. This is great. Nah, this I love shit. a good mess, yo. This is my Listen, shit. yo. We're moving. We're moving. We've been in Queens for seven years. We're moving to Jersey to accommodate niggas like, not even niggas like y'all, but niggas that come with like 40 and 50 niggas. <laughs> no, we all we want to accommodate. Like the, the check yeah. got real big for the next yeah. spot. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just want to make people comfortable, yeah. Jim. Yeah. Comfort. So now, this will probably be the last time that we cramped in here like sardines, but I'm honored here. We have Jim, who's been here before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He Welcome knows back. it. He knows it's Titan here, friend of the show. And we have Mano, who yeah. I'm just such a friend with that I thought he was here before, yeah. and yeah. he never was. I've been to his shit, yep. both places. Yep. <laughs> so I'm honored. Before you gentlemen say anything, I have to play music from you guys that I love. Yeah. They told me I couldn't show love to y'all project because it's New York bias. <laughs> That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. Uh-oh. Jim. Yeah. I'm getting back to this. 
you're it seemed like for me you've taken like a stance in opening versus hard like it seemed like that's a conscious decision from you like this came on and i was like oh shit he bugging out at the top of the verse now the baby is that a joint when he came <laughs> is that a conscious decision to open verses with just some flagrant shit and then go or is it just happening yeah it's definitely conscious i mean you know bring that to my attention Fred the Gosselin used to bring that to my attention. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I need that mic close to you. He used to call me Ricky Henderson. You got to lead off, Capo. You already know. You got to lead yeah. off. <laughs> and, and and that's, I mean, shit, but Cam always said, bro, don't, ain't no time for tucking no rhymes. You mm. know? <clears throat> Fit your hardest and then you always going to be able to make a, you dig? Like, dude, mm. you got to do it again. Don't it ain't no, you dig? Don't, don't tuck nothing. Always put your best rhyme first. Don't hold, don't try to be, Go as bo- as hard as you can off top. It's like niggas that hold the big joker to the end of the hand. Just play it. Yes. All right. Let me get into a little bit of this. Park's going to get everybody situated. These niggas came with niggas with muscles, <laughs> just like you would expect. <laughs> Fresh off that summer jam stage. Yes, sir. You know I mean? Mike check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I want to be a DJ so bad, yo. (laughs) I'll say this respectfully. I don't know when y'all did this song, but by this point in the album, Mm -hmm. it sounds like you got tired of him opening verses that way. (laughs) (laughs) This actually was the first song. For real? It's the first song. That's the first song we did. It's the first song we did. Oh, so that was that. That was the first song. This first song, Energy. Mm-hmm. That was the, the shit that had put. I was like, "Oh, this what this how we this coming. how we coming." Right, cool, this is what we doing then. Jim, before you got here, I was talking to Mano. Yeah. About street niggas with stylus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas been looking we good. Look the fuck good. You niggas man. been coordinating yeah. this leather shorts, <laughs> leather vet. Look at my guy. Look at this. You know I changed. Uh, All right, let me let me let me ask. You know get I to him, Ice. No, because we bought this. Get right to him. Yeah, talk to him. I saw a lot. Of, I saw a lot of leather at Summer Jam. <laughs> and, no, no, and before, and before. I feel like that's Jim idea. A lot of leather made by product that's yeah, it's, yeah. Nice. it's a big difference it's a big difference when you talk about level a level that was made by product hey. but, uh, all right, all right, all right. But listen that, that though, listen though, Ice. All super groups wear black leather, bro. We're super group. Damn, it's a black leather group. thing. And don't forget the black leather. That's right. We can't. <laughs> it's, all it's, super groups. For real, it's a super group wear black leather. You can't be a super group if you're not wearing black leather. Maybe that's what Slaughterhouse fucked up at. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely had no leather. They, they had no leather. Yeah. Y'all ain't had no leather. <laughs> had no leather. <laughs> no. Well, well, no. Joe way. had the leather vest. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. He <laughs> tried. He tried to eat on me. You gotta yeah. have. You gotta have leather, man. Tell me how. Tell me how. Let me get the journalist shit out of the way. Uh, Tell me how you guys decided <laughs> to form a to form a group. This super group you speak G- yeah, of. Yeah, give me that. Define super group. Whose idea we, was we that? Talk, we talked. Listen, we 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 talked about this so many years ago. Capo came up with the Lobby Boys. I'm gonna I'm be honest because you know this is back when 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 Rose and and Puff was saying that they was the Bugatti Boys. So I sent them a song one mm-hmm. day. I said, Yo, jump on that for me. He sent it back to me. He said, Shout out to the Bugatti Boys. But me and Mano, we the Lobby Boys, and I understood them. <laughs> we come from that. Con- we come from that. That 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 pain. That that you know that we have that in common. You know that lost them, them tenant bin buildings, those ghettos. It didn't matter that I was from Brooklyn and he was from Harlem because it's the same thing. It don't matter. The, the, the ghetto has those things in common where we congregate as young black men and same Hispanic struggles. men and we same struggles Up against the same, same thing. Is so everything. when he said that, I got it. And we talked about doing Lobby Boys Project back then, way back then. But I'm telling you right now, it wouldn't have been the same. We in a way better place. Yeah. Okay. I, I respect that. So y'all get together. Mm-hmm. Y'all say I'm gonna do a group, and we are gonna make group. some music. Mm-hmm. Super, super group. Super group. group. My bad. Yeah. 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 Respectfully. Yeah. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. So y'all gonna respect do it. So y'all get together. Say we gonna do a super group. At this point, is it we go in and make the music, or off namesake, we'll get the deal. No, no, no. We gonna make the music. See, the, mm-hmm. I, the, the first thing we said we was gonna make ten records in ten days. Ten days, B, and it was done. But, we had more than 10 in 10, though. But by the fourth record, I kind of pulled me to the side. Like, um, this shit sounding way iller than I thought it was going to sound. <laughs> you, know, you got, like, you got like, something there. You know, keeping it a buck. Like, you dig? Like, this shit is sounding like we really might have something. Let's yeah. just dig in. So, from 
the the ten days concept to putting it out last summer, it went to nah, let's really, let's do some shit, and it went from just staying in the studio all all through the summer and all through the winter, and getting some of the illest verses and beats and produced. It, was, it just was so organic, and the best thing about this shit was that we call the studio the lobby. Mm-hmm. We named it to the lobby, and everybody that's on this album King. had to come to the lobby to do their music. Everybody mm. wasn't no MP3s. It wasn't no Zooms. Nothing. It everybody no, came. Everybody that's came. What's everybody about. came for action. You heard? And, and everybody was here. fully equipped. Nobody was slacking. Nobody didn't need no extra time. Nobody took it. It, it was a great organic lit. See now, because a lot of people don't know. I I don't I don't think I've been in the studio with Maine when he did a verse, but I've been in the studio with Jim. You record pretty quick. Mm-hmm. That can be pressure. For the other rapper in the room, when, yeah, 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 right, yeah. It's, like for it's, the guy that's, that that is going in in fifteen minutes, I'm in the booth with this, right? But you know, but but me me and Jim was already having a a process that already was feeling good already. A lot of times, I was I was doing the records early before he got there because I wanted to. I wanted to have I wanted him, him to have like different options to choose from. Mm-hmm. Like here I got like I got three, four records, Jim. Tell me which one you you think you feeling. Let's try this one. Let's try to I would like try to have like hooks done. I would try to have the idea of the record already done. So by the time he come down, he like okay. But main is quick at main is quick. Like we could go and we a record would get done in less than an hour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You heard? And that's pretty good. I'm just talking about it could get done less than a half an hour, but for the, for the, you dig like we've done records in twenty minutes we've done record like but on average we're doing a record an hour so we do three four records a mm-hmm. night when we're in the studio mm-hmm. so somebody like me hears your project and says damn they snatched every hot like every hot mm-hmm. beat mm-hmm. like you niggas ears for beats is understated right. but y'all snatched every hot one that we would go after so it's like how do you do that, that was specific, how can though. somebody go grab the uh, down bottom beat. It felt to me like a uh, evolution of mixtape. Well, to, well, you know what I'm saying. Like, but it's business. It was the album, so right. something had to get clear. It was right. all I got yeah, clear. All I got clear. All I got clear. We, Everything got clear. That's why we that we purposely sat down and took the time to make yeah. sure all of these records get cleared properly, so we could right. put out the album that we wanted to put out, and not a a, a second rate version of our first. You know what I mean? Can you right. tell us how you were able to do that? So so look look the the sound that you're hearing is is a sound that I feel like. That nobody really was really doing right. If you really really listen to what it is, is that we didn't just sample it and just play it over. Like we sampled a lot of the horns and put it under modern drums. When you right. hear down bottom, it's under modern trap mm-hmm. drums yeah. and bassline. Yeah. So what what, what <laughs> the plan was was to 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 kind of bridge the gap between classic. In, in fresh right now what's going on right now so that way we had the best of both well, yeah. worlds right. like it's young at the same time but then somebody that's 30 plus is like yo this that other joint like yes. so you kind of get both that's I feel awesome. like you hear that it's with like the records we, we with like Fabio Foreign and right. stuff like that exactly. you hear it for yeah. sure like yeah. it's not like it yeah. don't take you away from that nostalgia right. of what you hear and with the sounds right. exactly. but yes. bring Fabio he right now right. Yeah. you know what I mean you hear that still got that sound that current cause the drums we was modern we was we was doing we was taking those beats and I would tell my producers, like, listen, modernize the drums. Yeah, if man. we modernize the drums and the bass line, they, they going to, because that's what they understand, right? The, the the horns or the piano is something that they, they might know, but the 20-year-old the, the, the 20 is not going to know the sound, nope. but he's going to respond to the drums and the bass line. Uh-huh. Man. You're getting, right. both, you're getting both generations. Here you go. You get both generations. Yes. Because the younger ones, that's what they hear. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The more they don't, interesting, they don't know what down bottom meant. The to more us. interesting right. part for me though is like because y'all still like three OG like East Coast. You know what I mean? Right. It's like how y'all didn't change. Like I'm, we we talking about the sound. But I'm talking about y'all sound. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't change y'all sound mm-hmm. to feel like y'all still rap. Right, right. Still rap. Which rapping. is it's very that's, kinda, that's so same pace, same age, right. same pace, same energy. You know what I mean? And it's was. still high level rapping though. Right. Yeah. Once y'all did it, I was like. Yeah, this makes sense. Well, like, a lot like of I sense. told y'all before, if you went back, uh, Jim, yep, your album, uh, We Set the Trends, it was a little bit of that on there. And it's like, yo, he he was able to step onto a drill sound, mm-hmm. but keep up and sound still modern. Be Jim. And say, yeah, it still be Jim. Like, right. it don't sound like I'm trying to be somebody else. That's the, the like, key. Yeah, a lot of people can't keep a up. A lot of OGs is like, can't keep up. 
is a handful. They're not five. that good though. But Fuck you gotta, no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta Hell no. It's a medium. Like you gotta come to a. You dig? Like you gotta know how to me in the still reinvent yourself mm-hmm. and be in the middle. Like yeah, mm-hmm. we're not chasing, but we also not gonna be stuck in the past. That's right. You dig? I'm not gonna be. There I'm not go. trying to get caught out there like. Special Led and Daddy Kane and all I'm digging. I'm trying mm-hmm. to keep it pushing and no disrespect to nobody, but you don't understand what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm trying to keep it moving forward. I'm trying to reinvent myself every time I come to the drawing board. I'm not going to be, I don't want to be, you, you know what I'm saying. I, uh, yeah, I said, I said, but can I say something real quick though? I just want to throw this out there because it's somebody sitting on the couch just not saying something. And I just want to put this out there. I asked Joe Button. On numerous occasions to pull up to the lobby to be on the Lobby Boys it's true. album. You got scared? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's true. No, I but said, Joe, no, come listen, on. Dude, go to address, like, let's go. Oh God, I, I, I want to come to the studio and get that energy. The problem is they had that energy. <laughs> Yo, they had that energy in there. I'm home on my little expensive couch in my robe. <laughs> Yeah. I'm turning my phone. These niggas is yeah. in there. These niggas turning up. I'm like, yo, that shit sound hard. No, we have. I'm a check. <laughs> Can't no, wait we, to buy it. Yeah, we really was. Having nah, but fun, that's how bro. I knew that y'all had some shit. Because yeah. niggas was coming to the studio to hear. Yeah, like way yeah. before yeah, it was yeah, time. Yeah. Yo, you was and, and that's tough to do. Y'all, y'all think that that adds right? Like when a nigga really be there. Cause that, that it's does. Com- it's competitive. It does. Like we all from the bottom. Like, oh, that nigga said. Oh, hold up. Give me a minute. Let me it go. It does. Go I've sat. Yo, look. I'm gonna tell you. That shit felt like a like like going to the going. We was in the playoffs every night. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Because like, everybody got to show up to the game. Yeah, when Benny was in there, the when Benny came, right? What y'all did? Y'all so what happened him? is, he didn't even tell me Benny was coming. Benny and them niggas just walked in. Set him so right what up. The fuck? Okay, <laughs> Set cool. Him up. Okay, this is what it is. It's, it's on today. So we sitting around. Niggas like pull up a beat. So I keep a batch of beats. I pulled up the beat. We all agreed on the beat. We started writing. Now I'm saying, man. <laughs> I'm saying, man. <laughs> I'm saying, okay, hold on, like. I can't, I can't even play with this shit, my nigga. Like, <laughs> I gotta like. So I tell my, I pull my, I pull one of my producers aside. So I say, Yo, listen, I'm, I'm almost ready though, bro. He said, If you ready, go. He said, I don't know. First, I don't want to go. That's the first, the first, the first said, one yeah, done. Nah, I, 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 I wouldn't want to hear what Benny got to say. I rap with Capo every day, so this is my partner. I already know we mob deep in this shit. Like we, mm-hmm. we, 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 we already got a system. But this nigga Benny here. Y'all, y'all, let, y'all, let, y'all let it kill him. Like, so hey. I'm saying, yo, look. I said, yo, this is what I'm saying. He said that shit hard. He said, but listen, my nigga, what oh, you going to do your verse to, the, uh, to him on the low? Like, like. <laughs> 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 I'm like, yes. I'm like, yo. He said, yo, man, go ahead, my nigga. This is your house. This is the lobby. Oh, I said, yo, you know what? I need more than that. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Fuck. Nah, I and I went in, and, and it just so happened, and it came together because that, that, that first two bars that I said, shout out to the niggas that I got it out, the love, out of the mud mm-hmm. with, we... We use that as the hook. That was really part of my lines. Mm. That was really part of my rap. So it was, it was crazy though. Don't, it was sessions like that, but still shopping still, my nigga. Like you, you in there with spitters. It's like you go, you got to get busy, nigga. Like you know what I mean? Jim, how you felt when Benny walked in? It was, it's, it's go time. <laughs> <laughs> it's go time. We're gonna see the day. It was a great game. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great game. That's yeah, how I, like, I take. That's like how I take. It's so fire. Like like basketball. Yeah, it's really, yeah. Yeah. I look at that as it's disrespectful when the nigga mail you their verse. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. It ain't today's not that busy. It's just. It's it, it just what we did was so not normal in today's day of yeah. making music. That's something that was done so often when we <laughs> first got into the game. <laughs> so for us to actually be in the studio with the artists, that was the flyest shit ever. When Styles P came through, that Whoa. was another crazy session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma he came went crazy. Through, that was, a, that that was, was another, another one you sent session. down there just popped up. She called me. She said, yo, I'm on my way to the studio. I just called Jim Jones. Yep. I said, all right, come on, I'm here. But it, I feel like it was Con- magic, though, my Con- nigga. Con- well, we, Conway record, ain't, we got still got a Conway record, but everybody that came everybody in that came. studio, the shit was dope. When Fab and Dave came through, always a dope session. Yeah, it just, definitely. It just, it, it just Even Young dope. Blue. Young Blue, I, I, I ran into Young Blue at a bowling, bowling alley. He said he was going he was gonna to be here the next day. I said, yo, you know, pull up. He pulled up. Everybody, it happened organically. It was magic, bro. Like, 
it, it was like, I don't know if we planned it that way, but it was just like, yo, we got the best room in the city. It's like a theater, pull up. We gonna, and it was you know, a party it was in that a, bitch. Right, it was a vibe. It was, it was a vibe. a vibe for the music. Like, if you are uh, artists that do music, bro. It, it was a vibe. vibe. It was fun, man. Night. It was no way you could have come up with you no shit. You got all the niggas in there. You got Brooklyn niggas in there. And the pressure was on because it was a bunch yeah. of real yeah. people with yeah. 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 it. So it's we're it's like, yeah. they waiting for you to perform. It was really like a basketball game. Yeah. This the arena and people sitting in there by the 30s and 40s. They know we about to go in the booth. Niggas just waiting. on The niggas be like, yo, I'm going in the hole. Everybody be like, stuck. You come out, niggas be like, Niggas, <laughs> niggas, like a nigga scored a three yeah, at the bottom. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I missed some type of sessions though. Yeah, yeah. That's how sessions it's was still, though. It was it was action packed and it was like it was vibe. It was like a ball it, but it, game, but boy. it felt it felt natural. It was the pressure was to, to perform, yes. but it felt good though. Like you know, it was it was it was it was the homies in there. You know, if you drink, that was there for you. If you smoke, that was there for you. You know, everything that you was was there for you. You know what I mean? We ate and we, you know we 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 we. we laughed and we bonded you know what I mean and, and it just felt good say what say what <laughs> now, you, now, you, now you know now you know me now you know me and I will say that the women were with me please of course, please. I, I of got course. Specific. we don't even we don't put me. that on but right? Jim, please, yeah. nobody looks at Jim like that. Yeah. The 30 women that were sitting in the back, like they that. were always with me. Yes. Please specify. Yeah, specify. I gotta specify. That's Germaniac. <laughs> <laughs> that's Germaniac. Yeah, 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 yeah, yeah. See, I'm listening to y'all lyrics. He needed pills to get I'm, over that. Yeah. No, no, no. But <laughs> honestly, I'm listening to y'all lyrics. He needed pills to yeah, get over yeah, that. You know the thing, man. It's, it's uh, you know, it's but then, release. But I felt bad. Uh, before you start, I felt bad. Like, when I'm listening to the lyrics and I hear that that's like a prominent point that you are making in verses, I'm like, oh, I've seen this man, nigga Mano a million times. And I never thought to even think, hey, I wonder how he's handling a breakup. Mm. <laughs> Like, mm. that's a common thing that you think with one of your niggas after a breakup. Right. right. Never I think about never that with niggas. thought. Right. And then I'm listening to this album, and it sounded like, oh, you handling shit like me. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not good. It's not too well. <laughs> it looks good on the outside. Great. This old oh. tough ass nigga here. Yeah. Crumbling yeah. on the inside. We, we do, and doing, and Ryan doing, McKnight on the late night. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, 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 doing more, and doing bad shit as we go. Oh man, mm, mm, did it kind of mm, make you more empty a little bit? Yeah, I mean, yo, you know the, the thing about the music and in life, like for me, like the music always been like a release. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get caught up in a life and a lifestyle, and you get caught up in the moments. Sometimes I've been I've been caught up in moments that I just didn't want to let go. You know what I mean? This nigga is yeah. I'm letting yeah. him get his yeah. shit off. Yeah. I've hey, been hey, caught up hey, in moments. Now get your shit off. I, I, I told you about this. We I know. This. I know. I know. Don't I know. Go over there. I'm not going to go over there. I'm not going over there. I'm not going over there. Please. I'm not. I, listen, but check this out, though. Like, moments, right? Because I had I had this conversation with, 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 with one of my women friends. And she was like, yo, you talking all this stuff. You talking crazy. And I'm saying, don't take it all literal. Right? I didn't, I didn't literally, you know, lick that pussy in her kid's room. All right, oh, that wasn't literal. That wasn't literal. All right, we can't. It's not oh, literal. Cause, like, cause you, I fell because asleep. Because she took me home. I looked at the pussy in the kitchen. Like, it didn't. It wasn't literal. It was the, 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 the kitchen. So <laughs> the, all right, now this is a great point. This is the problem we have with black art. Right, they, they take too with, literal. They take things too literal. Too literal. It's not, so it's art. It's, it's yeah, art. don't go so literal. It's all art. It's freedom of speech and it's art and people it, like. Listen, That's we talk about early. that here all the time, mm -hmm. about what they're doing with lyrics, with lyrics. Right. and what we think about. All these cases and shit. Yeah, nah, cool. nigga, being up here, you, you, you own this motherfucker four times, five times a week, you running out of content. Yo, yo, when the last time you ate that bitch? You got to come Whoa. up with something. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Shorty no, but, can't take it all, well, why literal. Was the first, why, was, why was that the first? Whoa, that, right. he's an eater. He's an eater. You're an eater. You're an eater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an eater. Yeah, but listen. That's that's green eyes. Eyes. You, 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 you went right there. Straight to the box. He went straight to the box. Head first. But then another thing is like, when I say like, I say something like, waking up with strippers, man, I'm getting too old for that. Like, it come from like a real place. Like, sometimes we 
questioning what we got going so on. So is it life. literal or not literal? No, not literal. Like, listen to what I'm saying. Capo, please. But it comes from a real place. Please. This is what I'm saying. We're Everything stop, comes from a real place. Now. So stop now. It's I always a nigga with an old Batman you suit. <laughs> your Batman suit is old. Get this. Don't get, For real. Your Batman, your, your Batman suit right is now really old. Yo, listen. See? What I'm saying is that coming from a real place, but don't take it too literal. What I'm saying is that as men, like we 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 on our journey, right? We we look at ourselves in the mirror sometimes and we say, damn, I need to, I need to do more of this. I need to slow down on that. I need to make some sort of improvisions on on certain things in life. And that is where sometimes the, the thought comes, it's party and it's pain at the same time. And it's like, it's, it's we functioning and dysfunctioning at the same time. We up and we down and nigga, we laugh. Bingo's a potter, man. Yeah. That's what yeah. he's yeah. talking about. Yeah. Right I'm sick of this shit. I'm telling man. you, man. Nigga, what happened in Miami, man? Can you tell us? Which, which time? Well, you said it in a verse. No, the time. Which time in Miami? What? When I woke up with my... Uh, the Rolex got missing? Yeah, that's the time. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. I was high for two mileys, doing wrong. Right? <laughs> Doing wrong. Right? Doing wrong. Yeah, it should have just been one. <laughs> right? Doing wrong. And, and, and wrong. From, right. That's different from when Ricky lost your order, Mom? Yeah, that's different time. Because right, he lost it. And it wasn't mine. He, he, he I, lost I, I, that wasn't That wasn't on me. That's a lot of loss. Yeah, that's we take game. losses in this game. This is yeah. life. This is yeah. a journey. Yeah. But what I'm telling you is that this, I was at a place in my life where I was at it like a, a, like a confused state and doing things that I probably never what? did or shouldn't have been doing. And I was caught up in the moment, and I was caught up in the life, and and it, it something happened to me in Miami that, you know, I was at uh, Booby Trap, I went back, had the room, and then Fast you know, booby yeah, trap. I so was out of my mind, this. passed out, woke up, Rolex gone, and I had to really, I had to really look at myself and say like, yo, you you you. He forgot he hit me and all that because I had the, the the lady was on the in, Instagram talking about that's not my nigga. This is not my nigga. So I had to really look at myself for, for what it was worth. Like, my nigga, you got the opportunity to be great. This is not great. This is, You calling yourself a king, but this ain't king shit. <laughs> What's up? I change. <laughs> hey, that's my shit. I most certainly change. I change every day. You understand? Jim I tell you one thing. I tell you one thing, and I never was a drug. I never, I never did drugs, but I did like Molly, right? <laughs> no, I never did drugs. Which is a drug. I understand that. I'm trying to, but he's going crazy. But this is at a specific time, though. Ask the question, though. This is at a specific time. Let him get you out of there. Let him get you out of there. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. I'm going to get him out of there, Joe. They about to Nah, but you know what? Listen, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm trying to describe a specific time of my life. Nah, but the dude that never did drugs and then does drugs, that shit usually don't go the greatest. And especially if Molly is the drug you start with. Right. I'm specifying a specific time in my life. It's a moment. I look at this different for Mano. I look at this different for Mano, right? This is why I bring this up. No matter what you say right now, it's going to come off to me as a blessing, right? That's right. What the fuck is going on here? That's right. What? I'm with Jeff. Oh, come oh, on. Come all on. right. I figured that by the best. <laughs> no, this is why I bring it up, right? Because... Whatever you say right now, I take it as a blessing. On this pod, we've been talking about discernment in hip hop when it comes to the women that we sleep with because of the results that we've seen happen. Right? Right. It's been a topic here. Right. Where yes. the lineup, you just got to be weary of the lineup mm -hmm. at all times. So, mm -hmm. all right, she took a watch or a watch got missing. That's right. If that's all it got missing. And thank, I, Lord, yeah. thank the Lord. Yeah. That's right. You have to take that. Those are blessings. Those are lessons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are lessons. And that it took me having to. You know, learn that lesson to get my 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 act together. So sometimes the lessons come hard, right? They come. Whoa, that was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, that was yeah, that hey, was that was a bit crazy. Yo. But you understand what I'm saying, Boy. though. It, yo, you see yeah, how Brooklyn Harlem yeah, tension existed, crazy. right? That was crazy, though. That was but, wild. But you understand, sometimes the lessons come and it, and it, and it smacks you in the face and you're just like, <laughs> whoa. All right, yo. yo. All right, we out, we out, we out. We out, you chill out, you chill out, you chill out. Yo, I got to just, I'm not even talking. Yo, no, no, we done with you. We are done with you. We are shit. crazy. That's the wild, bro, that's You know what I'm saying, though, nigga. No, no, we don't. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, that was bad. Jim, before y'all got here, Ice was saying, Ice brought your name up. He asked me some stupid question about the king of New York, and I hate that question. I don't give a fuck about who the king of New York is. But he did mention your name in that conversation. Let me ask you, gentlemen, 
what King of New York means. And did y'all ever put anybody in that in your life? I, I, I don't really, I don't really play with the king thing. I mean, I like how Mano put it. We all kings, you dig? We all kings in our own right. But that's the problem with I've been problem in our city from the get go is that mm-hmm. for the for what I can remember, it's always been somebody to take claim of they was the king of New mm-hmm. York. From the Kumo D and them errors from back in yep, from Karis yep, One correct. and all them all the way up to now. So this is what me and Maino are doing is breaking that stigma mm-hmm. of it's not one person that runs this motherfucker. Mm. It's all of us that make this shit run together. You dig? Like and we bring the unity together. He's from Brooklyn for home. Everybody know that. And the way we met is even iller. So what we showing people is cut the bullshit, bro. Let's get a dollar together. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yo, that, that's what that's what's think. been missing in New York. That's that's what you think is a fall of our position. You know, we used to run hip hop in New York. We now have kind of succumbed to Atlanta. Them niggas work together. Everybody succumbed to Atlanta. Atlanta took that. Ain't but no they work together because they work together and. Even in the midst of most of them niggas having their own qualms, they, they still figure it out to make it right. to push the You're same right. envelope forward. Right. We don't do that. No, you we don't. let it be known we got a problem with him. With it's our town. I'm just, I'm the, I'm the king of this motherfucker. You heard? And that bring that comes with so much. You dig? That's one thing I've always watched. Is that comes with that so heavy as the head, right? Because we perpetuate it. It can only be one king, and everybody's just saying, "This is I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm the king." But we like, yo, look, bro, you are the king, but I'm the king, too. We sit and he a king, too. Bro. So then when you Here see you Jim Jones and Mano and Fabulous and Davies and this one and that one, and you see us all together, none of us is less king. Everybody's a king, right? I feel like that, that'll that help turn the tide on some of the, on, on, on the way that we looked at and the way we look at each other because we don't got to stand on each other to get money. To the top. And it's we team up, we can get more money. Right. For well, sure. That's what's that's, the that's the part that's right always there. skipped. And that's mm. just outside of hip hop. That's in that's in that's black culture. Black, that's black, that's them deals like, get them deals get bigger as a unit. So I'm telling word. you, we come together like it's like, yo, we get money. Like so much has happened in our favor for us doing this album together. And never forget Mano has platinum records. I have platinum records. He has his own fan base. I have my own fan base. We've both been in this game. So Everything is working together for us now. Mm-hmm. Niggas that didn't like me, but they fuck with Mano now, fuck with me. Niggas didn't Mano. like Jim? I'm, it's just not. <laughs> Hypothetically, that, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Niggas right. that didn't like Mane, that just fuck Oh, musically, me. musically, so, musically, musically. Musically, yeah. I'm talking about musically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually seen a couple did, of them. It, well, no, no, the street, music, it all, it all works one-to-one and shit like that. Like, it, 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 it worked in our favor. The opportunities come even more. I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask y'all. Y'all have y'all playoff experience in the studio having a blast, turning up, your niggas in there, mm-hmm. swimming in there, we having a blast, right? But at some point, the music is done. Mm-hmm. And now it's time to put our brains together and say, all right, what do we do with this? Did y'all face any, did y'all face any, anything from like music executive type people that try to age us out? No. Nah, we ain't be, they, we don't we don't hear, we ain't hear we ain't hear nothing. Nah, we, we not even to support. Yeah, we not even like we not even there. They couldn't they can't nobody. Even, they they, they wouldn't can't. they wouldn't dare. Matter of fact, we don't put ourselves in that position. They can't. We not that. I totally don't even believe in that. Like I totally, absolutely throw that whole thought that away. Shit don't, it's not even we in the age brain. less. That none of that shit means nothing. The only the, requirement the, is that we make dope music. Say it again. We fly as fuck. We look good as fuck. Say this is again. not sports. I'm not running up and down a court. Yeah. Okay. Something. This is music. And the reason why you didn't have a 30 year old rapper 25 years ago is because the coach itself wasn't old enough. True story. Mm. You understand? You got. You got Go grandmothers that's 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 fifty years old right now that was thirty years old twenty years ago mm-hmm. that absolutely mm-hmm. loved hip hop. They didn't stop becoming fans mm-hmm. because they got older. Mm-hmm. And that's a fact. Right. Mm-hmm. Say it again. When, Actually, they really want to fuck with this more than the new shit. Yeah, yeah. Like the new yeah. Shit. Yo, listen, it's no, the music fuck. don't change if you if like all every everybody in this culture that was born into 
hip hop. It don't change. What else is they gonna listen to? The same way that our mothers and our grandmothers listen to the music in the seventies, and that's the music that they love. That's what they love. What do we know? Oh, we oh, right. people that love R and B, the old R and B and new R and B. That's what they on. Hip, you born in hip hop. That's that's it. That's, that's, it. Called, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's, mm. that's, it. that's like religion. Like you Forever. don't know nothing else, and you keeping up with the times. You're not that's changing the right. station. Your station is still Hot 97. Right. It's still Power 105. Like you, it's, it's that's forever. That's all you know. But also, I got to give you two gentlemen credit, right? Because y'all are two of the elder state statesmen that seem to make it a point to fuck with the youth. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Like, you kind of got to. Yes, you don't indeed. have to stop. You don't have to. You want to give credit. You want to give credit, but you don't have to. You hurt yourself when you don't. You don't have to do I anything. I don't know that either. You don't have to do anything, but in my position, I do it because I didn't have niggas like me when I was coming up. Mm-hmm. Man, I have no guidance. Me and Cam learned about going up against the brick wall. We, we learned about all the mistakes that we made. We didn't have nobody Man. telling us what to do, what to do. Like, if I, we, if we I'm not saying I needed that, but that shit would have been dope to help us from bumping the head all the time and shit like that. You dig? So in turn... These are the things that I want to school the youngers on how to wicked your ass game and how to get them some money and how, nah, to, I, how I to can, do this. I can vouch, for, bo- I can young- vouch for both these niggas. Right. You know what I mean? Like being a, a, a younger rapper, you get what I'm saying? Like not even because they hear is like, I, not to say no names. I've come across certain rappers where you'll see a nigga out and you know a nigga know you and a nigga just keep it pushing. Right. Jim pull up to the prop. Jim is on the roof in Newark with me. We shot our video on the roof in Newark. Jim ain't mm. pull up with 50 niggas. Mm. I mean, he pulled right up. We looking down. You see the cars pull up like, man, you see me in Shore Hills Mall. Oh, mm-hmm. what's up? Let's exchange mm-hmm. personal line. My mm-hmm. phone ring. His, it ain't never no weird That's shit with certain niggas. You know what I mean? Like, you could tell it's genuine and they really like, oh, nah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I always say, like, some niggas you could tell they was there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These niggas was outside. Yeah. And they respect younger niggas that's outside. You know what I right. mean? So when a nigga see you, it's like, oh, nah, what's up, little? It's as opposed to the other niggas where I just don't feel like really been there in the first place to respect a nigga that's. Outside like that to where they show that type. Of, these niggas always saying, show love. I but you know the young game. Niggas fuck the, with them. the game. Yeah. Right. I right. was just on the game. Yes. That's a hundred percent. Right. 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 And that shit is whack. I always thought that was whack. I always put my niggas onto all the game. Like, That's right. man. I agree with Soul right. not you know told. It's not my money. Let's right. all break right. the bank, let's all figure it out. And that's the older niggas' mentality. Mm-hmm. That's not my mentality. I'm putting everybody on the game. This is how I got the bag. This is how you can get the bag. This is how you can get the bag. This is how you can get the bag. That's been never bag. Count, but I never counted videos. that. Like, you stepped out of music years ago. It was like, yo, I'm going to go get the bag over here. But I'm going to show little man how to get it. I'm going to show right. yeah. I, I never like, counted that saying as if they meant it for us and our niggas, though, right? What? What's yeah. that? What's what saying is that? I did. How many, you see, how many niggas gave you an alley oop in this industry? Absolutely none. All right then. So what you think that come from? Yeah. The game is to be sold, not told. You if know they can't make a dollar off, off of you, you, right? I'm the not, niggas. I don't got to answer my, I don't answer my phone. I'm not even helping and, you. And Fuck it, a dollar with you, a dollar off you. They need control. Yeah. Even you know? if the dollars ain't coming from them, they still not gonna give you no bread. It's crazy. Yeah, it's terrible. And as far as with, with the young with the young niggas, I love I love the young niggas, and everybody know that. Like I have more in common with them. You understand? Like my whole upbringing, I was a young nigga that was in the street. I went to prison. I was 16, 17 years old. So I was a young nigga. I identified with being a young nigga. So, you know, when I say I got young nigga energy, I'm an OG by my felonies. I mean that. You understand? So it's 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 it's, it's all about the energy. It's all about, a, you know, how, the, the way you present yourself because, you know, I was a young nigga in the street that was looking at older niggas like, I respect you, but if you think you're going to come home on some other shit, we're going to leave you. Right? So, I understood because I I I I've been that. You see, time it's just time, bro. It's no such thing as age, bro. It's just time, my nigga. It's just some people been here longer than others. Some people been here longer a short amount of time. The only thing matters is now. But at what point did you say? Because we were talking off mic outside. At what point in that journey that you speak of? Did you make the decision to stop trying to win the real nigga awards and put on the hoochie daddy oh, leather shorts? Yeah, look at me, nigga. The shade. <laughs> look at me, nigga. I don't wear hoochie daddy. Look at me, look at me nigga. I'll do that. I'll look at me, nigga. Daddies. Yeah, I don't. I'm not out here fat looking. Nigga. Listen, no, let me tell you something. Fat nigga, man. Look, fat, yo, no. they know where they know hoochie, hoochie daddy. daddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this nigga know where hoochie daddy. He got the coochie daddy yeah. joints. Whoa. You, you should no be a little bit. I don't want to be crazy, nigga. Cause you must be fucking crazy, nigga. The fuck you talking about? 
<laughs> Nigga, listen, let me tell you. Listen. That's a serious question. Yo, look, 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 look. Yo, look. yo, what? don't do that. Y'all started this. Yo, you and your man Freaky Shorts. First look. of all, first listen. Of all, his man is called Freaky Shorts because his shorts are too freaky. That was first of all. <laughs> my nigga, you wear, first of all, hold on. Back. You wear the same exact shorts that I wear. The same exact type of shorts. They above your knees, nigga. Look they at not. them. They your not. knees is out. You pulling them down. You pulling them down. You wear the same type of shorts. So funny. You know why you wear the same type of shorts? <laughs> there you go. Gym. Let me tell you why. Because they don't make them long no more. I, what I it just told y'all earlier, you're doing some bullshit. You cannot find long no, shorts Jim in the store no more. No, Jim, Jim had that potato doorstep. Nah, not good ones. You nah, can't. not good. They listen. Bro, I've been shopping this weekend. You cannot find them. If they not coming to you, they not coming to you. That's been like that for a while. It's a wrap It's worse now. It's a wrap. Yeah, you're not. It's over. So they above the knee. And then when you sit down, they raise up. It is what it is. It's nasty work. It's, it's nasty okay. work out here. <laughs> you, I really feel like it's 83 out here. It's all right. Them, them shits, them, them, I'm embracing it. Definitely looking like, like the Celtics. I'm in Thomas time out here. Choice, it's okay <laughs> with me though, nigga. I'm embracing it. It's all right. You don't, be, you don't want to be caught out here looking like you just came home on work at least, nigga. Man, all them leg squats y'all do, y'all straight. Legs it's the niggas like, I ain't got no legs, man. It's the niggas about us that don't worry about it. I'll be trying. Jim don't do legs. You see that nigga in there doing everything. Man, I see that nigga. Nigga, they getting busy shoulders. Jim, legs, man. Jim to be doing some bullshit now. I just ain't got no legs. They just don't grow. I ain't got no ankles and shit don't grow. Now, listen, you had a beef You had a beef with me that you shared that you shared here about me not coming to the lobby, boys. Yeah. Can I share a beef, too? Okay, share it. I watched you gentlemen on a million dollars worth of game. Mm-hmm. And then Wallow was making a joke. Mm -hmm. Wallow said, yo, who you think of winning the verses, Gilly or Joe Button? Now, you two niggas laughed. That's fly mm -hmm. with me. I don't care right. about that. But it was one nigga there who I beat in the verses. And what nigga was that? You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh yeah. shit! So, so I'm watching oh, the clip. Yeah. I'm watching this the clip. Oh, and, and I, that's why I don't fuck with this podcast is niggas. Because podcast this niggas this get on these crazy. other podcasts this and they act new. Yo, I'm yo, watching the clip. I'm watching the clip, yo, listen, and I'm like, yo, yo. At, any, at any second, man, go let him know. What I did to him, and then my did name gonna be, you they gonna put respect. Happened? And you didn't. You said, oh, did, shit, that's did you crazy. You thought that, that I was going to tell them how y'all cheated me on Clubhouse when I was in Joe, uh, uh, Joe Button's room, when you had all the people in there. You had that girl with the fat ass <laughs> from the <laughs> liking everything that <laughs> put out. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know, like, that's I say, what we're Hey, timestamp that. I know where ass that was, as soon as he said Yo, sir, these new rappers sir, ain't getting work. Sir, hey, sir. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, okay, though. Oh, okay. Hey, top step. Yeah. Hey, niggas be shit to death for that girl. Oh, you tried me just now. Okay. Yeah, I didn't I like that. Yes. No, 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 no. This end, ended him. We was on club. Ended him. You ended. You ended. Ended him. him. Tell the truth. You so fucking. No, cap. tell him. Tell him for real. Fucking cap. Yo, listen. I was in a room and the we, deck we was in a room. Man, man, don't try to show out. I was smoking him. It was like. It was like yo, and Mano got some records too. Six, you do. seven, to, Mano got records to three. It was it was just dogging them. Like, and then what, what happened? happened was <laughs> dogging them. What happened was he tried to he he tried to, he played pump it up and then put with with the Jay Z verse and as two songs. It's like oh oh, it was a technicality. Oh, yeah, like, he gave yeah. 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 yeah, that's, that's crazy. Crazy. Like, time. Time. Would, That's my did, shit. I would have did that too. Yeah, That's mine. Nah. That's my song. No, but it was Yo. one song, bro. You try to play it as two. Like, no, what happened on. was, I'll tell the truth, because Mano probably should have won if he was keeping up with rounds, but he wasn't. So he thought it was round nine when it was round ten. Right. So and he I, played a round nine record, and I played Pump It Up, got oh, him the man. fuck out of here, get out of here. And he tried to come back with it all the above. It's over now. You go all the above outside, nigga. Oh, my God. Oh, y'all went we, 10. Yeah, we went yeah, 10. We went oh, 10. We went 10. So, but I tell you what, so though, he come round 10, he tried to play. You got all the above. I didn't get the, didn't get the chance to play. All that above, boy. Right. No, no, no. I didn't get all the chance to outside. play. I didn't play High Hate or none of that. High Hate outside. You lost count. High Hate outside. So listen, listen. What I'm saying is this, though. Joe sitting there like, I tell oh, you, you what, though, nigga. Yet? I tell you what, though, nigga. I tell you what. Anytime you're looking for me, yo. Line, line, line it up. Wait, no. Wait, I got to talk to you about verses. Line it up. Line it up. Shut up, nigga. Line it up. Awesome. Line it up. Listen, mm -hmm. Jim, Jim, before you got here, I'm going to be honest. Joel said he wanted Banks in the verses, and I talked about it here. 
Mm. But before he said that, he said what? It's about the first before tweet. Before he said that, he disrespected Bleak name first. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't yeah, like we, yeah, none of us like that, Jim. Like that. Jim, tweet. honestly. I didn't like that. I'm gonna be honest with you. He said, he said, said Blink my Blink is too That's easy. crazy. That's crazy to say that's it that way, crazy, though, Jim. Too Jim. easy. Look how we said it with Blink, the shrugs. Bleak my man, but that's like, come on. Come on, what? Come on, what? Come on, what? <laughs> Yo. Oh, we uh, Jim Bride and the time of history man. of what we did when we went inside that building. We know what you did. Yo, we know. Okay, then we didn't hear. But too this much. a run up fade. This ain't like Dipset get the run up and run a fade with this. Jewel's, is this a, Jewel's, a head of fade. Don't forget, Jewel's is. A multi-platinum artist? No, nah, not at all. Not we at spoke all. on all that. You did, like, but but every this, one of his singles went multi. Like, it's the too easy. So 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 so. So how many records Bleak? Is he gonna bring out um? Uh, bring out Jay for coming to age? Like that's yeah. Bleak coming that's, to age. Bring out, but he can do it. He gotta bring out. He gotta bring out. He gotta bring him out. Coming to age to be one of the hardest records. Coming to age is coming on. Hey, wait, hold on. I see what's going on. Hey, hold on. Coming of age is coming on. I'll get fucking Don't post show up in that. See, Bleak, my man. <laughs> <laughs> but Bleak, no, it's not. Like, come on, bro. It's the set. I feel bro. like it's a good fight. It, it's the set. Yo, but wait. Now the set. It's the set. That, I want to ask about that too. Today was my first time hearing that. And how did that come up? Um, summer jam. Summer jam. Oh, summer jam. I summer saw you. you yeah, when you, you posted, saved you said my ass one day in the Gus game. They had my ass pent against the wall. Jay had me smothered in the Gus <laughs> game one day, bro. I had a ball like twelve thousand for bleak one well, night. <laughs> and then and look how you sit there talking about it. <laughs> That's my man. But, look how you sit there talking about it. You know, but we gonna get to with with, with the factual actual. We like all right. The verses we, we went on with with the locks. Shout out to the locks. Locks is greatest group of all time. They definitely have a brotherhood that's unmatched. Not saying we don't have a brotherhood, but everybody knows there's been a lot of separations and all type of discrepancies and back and forth throughout the years. So our brotherhood ain't a close knit as theirs is. Right. So when it comes to their performance, when it comes to their stage presence, when it comes to all that, they got that and they got that intact. Yeah. You heard? And you think we that's some, where y'all lost it? We some Harlem niggas that we just think we just could do anything we want and we gonna end up coming on top. You heard? I mean. I know why we lost, but I'm not getting into that part. Okay. You, heard? you dig? Okay. Like, and I, I, it's, I, I don't peel. I got it. You dig? I know why we lost. I let so I let I let somebody else tell the story. I hope somebody be truthful sooner or later. But I know why we <laughs> lost. You heard? It wasn't the music, wasn't the DJs, or anything. It was a it was a fair fight. It got funky, but. I, because then I heard about? you. I heard you on Angie say that you wouldn't mind some more versus smoke. Yeah, I would like me myself, Jim Jones. I do have a hell of a catalog a good in New York City. If we're gonna do a versus in New York City, fucking I right. Can, yeah, I can give a lot of people a headache. You fucking right. In New death. York City, oh, I man. want many types of smoke you could throw at. But me. there man. ain't nobody. But there ain't nobody to do that. This is what I'm saying. I got ninety smoke. I got two thousand smoke. I got two ten smoke, and now I got. 2022 smoke. I really want smoke in New York. You heard? Listen, so who do you want? Who do you, you want? Like you said, first call. Ain't thing, nobody gonna do that. Name, put them up there. I, old nigga, young nigga, put them up there. Who? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. All and jokes, you all, some, joke, all jokes inside. Funny. Put the jokes in the corner. Who? I from can New really York? do a record from 2000 and just go straight I to 2020. I can't say bleak knowing how you gentlemen feel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Banks. bleak don't want to smoke. Banks? What are you going to do? Where are they going to end off at? Banks? Yo, I don't like how y'all talk about bleak. I'll be honest. I, don't I ain't like talking it. about bleak. It's anybody. You heard? Jada. Uh, who else in New York? Uh, Fab. I'll do it with Fab, but Fab already did one. Yeah, Fab no, got some hella New York records. Fab might be the only only one that I really... It would be Banks? Really What's wrong with Fab Banks? Got, I smoke Banks' head up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling. I'm rolling, I'm rolling bro. You beg the dip. I'm rolling. I'm my shit is a whole. Is a my shit is a whole. Bad records are right. My shit is a package. Bad records are right. My shit is a package. For my diddy bop. Everybody cannot talk at once. My shit is a package. Remember that. Hold on. Hold on. My shit just ain't the rap, it's just the package. When I come out, they want to see Capo. It's not too many niggas that got that package. You might got with y'all in G on it. Y'all don't like you and Joel targeting Banks. Titan Banks up is crazy. That's how No, I don't mind who you think would win. I just don't like how these niggas talk. Records. Jim could talk to Banks like that. We're in a different era right now. Joel's can't. 2022. Yeah, I want to sold on Joel. Sam ain't no walk in the park for you. I want to sold on Joel. I said that. Jim and Banks are goodie. I said that. I think Banks is a. I, I wouldn't sold on Joel's. Jim and Banks are good. I think it's a lay. I think it's a lay. What year they gonna stop at? Yeah, exactly. Fuck y'all think this is a nostalgia era? I'm not nostalgic, nigga. I'm still lit. 
It's a difference. Mm. What year they gonna stop at? Two more. What year they gonna stop at? What's the last record they did that really meant something to somebody out here that they could still get jiggy with? Not to be disrespectful. We talk about hip hop. That's what we do, right? Let's be factual. You're here. You're the hip hop almanacs and shit. Like, talk to me. Because I be high. This nigga's a fucking you know? almanac. I be high. Yeah. Let me know when I'm tripping, you heard? We just talking about, we just talking about, uh, Verses, so I don't want nobody. Yeah, verses. Yeah, yeah, don't get verses. We, we dig it. Everybody has a opinion to come up here and say, Capo bugging the fuck out. I'll smoke his head up. He know that. I don't care how they talk. We talking about verses. But I'm very confident in where I'm at right you know the now verses in that's this been, game in New York City. This is the what if. You know how the comic books used to do what if? And the, and the fans get to still play like that. So there is a verses that they talk about that would be interesting. You don't have to speak on it. And, of course, it would never happen. But they continuously float you and Cam's name. That would be fire. They continuously float that. would be fire. And mm. when they do, I do think Cam it would be gonna fire. Cam's going to have a hard time, though. He's going to have a hell very, of a hard, very time. hard time. And that's my heart. Very hard It's time. like us playing basketball back in the, back in the days. Time, in the back of the project. You heard? He's going to have a hard time. No, I agree. And I'm I not going to have an easy time. I agree. Because Cam is very witty. You did. Cam know how to freestyle. Cam got bars. He started this shit from back in the day and has a hell of a fan base. Mm. You heard? And also, he knows me a lot. It's a hell of a battle. You heard? If we're going to go with showmanship and all that, it's going to be hell of a But Cam, no. I'm Yo, what record right What record got Jim Lit in New York solo? Certified so- Gangsters. You know, I That's keep fair. my eyes wide east side high rise. Mm. That's my West, first record. Man, we was outside record. jumping niggas to that shit. Boy, you might, <laughs> be, the reason, you might be the reason I was outside wilding. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> the very first record I dropped. Oh, my God. Was a bomb. I tore the city up. You know, Heavy gang-banging culture. Was my you know, reply. Had the homie saying that. Tunnel, speed, <laughs> 100 bloods with me every trip. Mano in there, I, well, he ain't make it to the tunnel, but when he came out, he, he was ice grilling and shit oh, like yeah. that. Like, he had a problem with me all the time. He started making it. <laughs> pretty much. Started making music That's how I used to run around. Pretty like much. That. That's how I used to run around. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You was coming to the club. No, 30 no, no, no. I understand that. And it was Certified Gangster. But it was niggas on that record. Let me see. I think the first solo record was uh, Summer in Miami. No. After that. Certified. Uh, after Certified Gangsters was Summer Summer in Miami. Miami. That was the one that was... That was... They no, baby walk. girl. That's what I'm about to baby say. Baby girl. I'd be like, that hold was up. Wait, wait a minute. minute. That was the solo. There's nobody on this record but Jim Jones. That was there's the, nobody oh, you can attribute so it was, the it was, win. Right? Because Certified Gangs just came, and that was just a, a slap. Mm. But it was just a slap. So niggas ain't really give Jim the credit, I feel like. And then someone with Miami came, but the bitches liked it. Trey was, Trey on, was on it. And it was a girl record in the summer, so niggas ain't give Jim the other shit. When it was Jim. Baby girl came out, and I was there for. I was outside in the city. There was nobody else to. There's no balling. Now, now that's now that's three records you just named. That's just three records you just named. And those are heaters, right? That's just ball, three. And ball was crazy. I might want to come out and do a little day and night just because I put Cuddy on. Cuddy, kick Cuddy on. I heard you talking. I heard that's you in interviews. Shit. That's spicy shit. Talking just crazy. Do, crazy. Just, just why you said that? Why you said that? I did that? literally. I put them on. I know, but why you said it and like you said it? Because I, it, that's literally how it happened. Y'all ain't? Yeah, I love him. The fuck? Well, I ain't say nothing wrong. To my cutty? Yeah, it was just a little spicy. I mean, shit. Was, that was spicy talk? That was spicy. I thought it was. It might have been the way that the people wrote about Maybe my spice is his mouth. <laughs> I, I thought it was. Just, I told the people how history went. Like, shit, if it wasn't for me, he, we would definitely not have Kid Cuddy. Well. Nobody would have heard I mean, the if, record. Nobody would know who he was. Remember... <laughs> A side, a, a, a director that was nobody just trying to get on directing the people that he knew in the street was trying to do a video with me. You heard the first video they showed me that they did. I said, Let me see a video they did. Was the Kid Cudi video that record was on there? I said, Shit, tell him to send that beat and you could. I'm gonna remix that record and you could do the video to that. I put it on YouTube. Niggas at Hot 97 took it off YouTube and started playing it on Hot 97. Nobody knew who Kid Cudi was, but Jim Jones had this dope-ass record where he's damn near singing on it, and it got added to Hot 97. And then his manager got him a deal off of that, took me off the record, and Kid Cudi, Kanye, all that went crazy. But I was never mad about it. I'm in just hi- telling people how it was. I'm about going. to say, in hindsight, do you, do you understand that Tell move? I'm going to pay them tomorrow when I get there for them. Huh? In, in hindsight, hindsight, do you understand that move? Like the manager doing that, or you feel like t- t- they could have t- gone t- about it differently. It, it could have. Who, who was his? What's his? What's his manager name? Um, uh, Cassidy was it? DJ Cass? Was it Cassidy? I don't, I don't know. No, I, I don't think no it was Cassidy. It was the other one. Which one? It was a big DJ. Um, 
I have no Whatever. idea. Whatever, you know, you know, you know these dudes, but I was I don't like I'm not that type of person. You heard? There was a plenty of situations where I've been in where I definitely was instrumental in getting play people, Pat? They situations. Pat. Yeah, play yeah, Pat. I thought yeah, it was Pat. Who, yeah. Pat. I thought it was. That was Pat. that with Kanye and, yeah. No, nah, it was another person. Oh, okay. Ronson, maybe? No, no, no. Well, no. either way, I mean, I guess if you just stayed in what happened. I'm just stating what happened. I don't I don't I don't want nothing from him. I never wanted a dollar from him. I see him all the time. Like shit. The truth for me is sometimes better than gold. Like I don't care about that shit. That mm. wasn't part of my vision. I wasn't part of my money. I don't I don't count on any I count on what I'll count on. You heard? Anytime I can help somebody and I do something, I do it because I could do it. I don't do it because I want something in in, in, in the back of it. You dig? I'm not one of them people. Speaking of summer in Miami, I'ma say this and hope that Sir Fire or Ish can tramp can move with a question from me, you know. And you don't have to say anything. I really like how you don't, how you didn't talk about anything that they were trying to get you to talk about. That was dope. What are you talking about? Anything about Miami. Anything about it. Like when you did your interviews and the interviewer niggas tried to get you to talk about anything that happened in Miami, you handled all that shit like a G. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, oh. and I came in here to say, oh, we shit. need more of that. Young niggas would we say, need more of that. keeping it P. Nah, I, was, I, was, I don't know I what that is. That. The key into, kept it pink. But you know, I'm never, yeah. I, I'm never, I'm not that type of person. I never glorify but shit that's that's great. Happens. You know, but we don't see it enough, though. How old? Because these yeah. niggas, yeah. me, forty five. Yeah, nigga. But there was a Man. time. There was a time where I would use it as allegedly something of like course. that. I would use it to my. But that's not like I grew out of that. That yeah. shit didn't help me. Where we, it, it's 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 counterproductive. It's counterproductive to to, to to entertain shit like that, especially when it's lies. That's know? what make both of you niggas dope, right? Like, but sometimes that's too that. fold had to though. Learn that. Sometimes that's too fold though, shit. because sometimes niggas need to be put in a place because if if you leave room for niggas to, to deny some shit, sometimes like. It, sometimes some shit gotta be on camera. Sometimes you understand. Forty eight laws of power. You know that take you back to. Sometimes it be on camera. It's just that nobody ever put the work at you. Sometimes, sometimes, certain people. I'm just saying, it's just certain people that you know they they deserving of certain things, right? And it's like. It needs to be very well known. It needs to be documented because Man, that's what they deserve. Bang. That's not what we own. No, I don't, ain't what I'm I don't like. I don't but ain't it like documented like even if footage room. never gets released? Like this room. Come back over here. Come back over here. All right. Yeah. Where we at? We back lobby. How long? How long? Because y'all both got shit going on, right? Yeah. Like you're a successful podcaster. You got a deal. Round of applause, please. What can you tell us, bro? You can tell us about that little. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Look, my, man, look. I learned from the best. You came and you, 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 I called you. I got some advice from you. Don't fucking lie. Did I get some advice from you? For oh, well, sure. All right, hundred percent. I got advice from you, right? And um, you know, and, and we doing what we do. <laughs> <laughs> We doing what we do. You tell a nigga that's crazy. How you trying to deal play that? We doing what we do. We, we, do. Nuts, we getting to it though. That's the best way. What's the name of the podcast? Kitchen Talk. They know what it is. Joe Button been there. I I I stole Mano's uh, chef. I need her number again. I need her number. I let again. you. I let she you make, have her. She make a good yes. wing. Yes. I let the you have her. The salmon bite. What's yeah. The, what's the salmon bite she has? Salmon cakes. Man, she all good time. Shit. She had everything. Yeah, she be on time. Gourmet shit. Yeah, she be on time. I, I can't sent lie. her to you. No, no, she do great. She do yeah. great. Yeah. Tell me about balancing being a successful podcaster and a rapper. I wouldn't call myself a successful podcast. I feel like I provide the vibe. I feel like that is just another component. Do you get paid? Do you get paid for that? Yeah, of course. Then you're very successful. At of course, course. but because there's yeah, the thousands of podcasts out there that Talk. don't get paid for Mil- nothing. Million. So you're very Chat successful million. at what you're doing. Listen, millions. Got to my millions. Uh, yes, got listen. Listen. I feel like I feel like when it comes to that, I feel like I provide the vibe. I feel like we run the show in a certain kind of way. I don't feel like I'm media. You know, I feel like that is just a, another component that I that, that 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 I do. That's for my brand overall. I feel like right now in the, in where we at. Um, in the game that you can have many different components you can you can have a show you know you, you you can be about your music you can act you can do so many different things I think this is the greatest time to do all that you know and that's what I wanted to do because when I started the podcast I didn't have no music 
And I told my guy, I said, listen, we're in a position to do something that nobody else is doing. We could have this podcast going over here on the left, but we could still be competing on the right with the music. If we do that, we're doing something that nobody's been doing. That's, That's true. Fact. That's true. You understand? So, you know, I say like, like Joe and them step totally away from the rap. Mm-hmm. They don't want to do it. So he's fully, in, you know, Invested engrossed into, into that. Mm-hmm. Right? So, mm-hmm. but I said that we in a position that do something totally different. We're going to start this lobby boy shit. That's going to put us right back in the game. At the same time, we still going to have our show running. And we and we up and going. And let me ask. Hit that yeah. round of applause for this guy, man. <laughs> Fox Soul, huh? Yeah. Fox Soul. Shout out to Fox Soul, definitely. Fox Soul. Are y'all doing anything with the workout? Of course. Oh, look, this is looking like Of something. course. We already got a show going on, man. Um, what, shout, what, what, shout out to Diddy. Yeah, in Revolt. Um, we shot we shot a uh, first episode for our uh, Fit Lit thing, you know. Uh, reality, reality. Uh, fit Lit, Fit Lit, yeah. Fit Lit, Fit Lit. That's 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 the yeah. Well, that's yeah. A, that's the fitness. Right they the started with the fitness initiative, but they turned down. Started so, with what? It started with the fit, fitness initiative that um started in uh, in the beginning of the year. Fab had this list of things, and that grew onto us just hitting the gym and creating a brotherhood, and what people seen on the, on the IG turned into Diddy like now. Nah, we gotta run this play, y'all. Bag. Looking too good for out real. there. For real, uh-huh. fam. Y'all so, should be hilarious. Y'all figure, these are four, four, four individuals that are all very successful at music, or all, 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 all very good fathers to their kids. Like it's it's a it's a it's a big dynamic. Like you don't never get to see a show from a man's point of view per se. Right. You did, especially two four alpha males as strong in the game as we are, and things like that, who are very responsible at the same time. So it's a lot that comes with it, and we like to have a good time. Right, you, you niggas checks, right. checks coming from everywhere. Right, that's, that's all and that's I heard. and that's and that's a dope thing <laughs> in itself, though, because all us together, you know, which which different individuals, but so much in common, you know, you know, black males in the rap game, fatherhood, all that, we balancing it out. You yeah. know, we going to the gym. You know, we working out, we cracking jokes on each other about the clothes and shit like that. It's it's just a balance and it's dope because it's, it's dope content because all of us got our our lives and shit like that. First episode we shot, we talked. I, I was I was talking to my son trying to get him to come to the gym. He told me he needed an hour and a half to get ready. So Jesus. it's just that dynamic is is just dope and it's funny because it's like, dude, you need an hour and a half to get ready to get to the gym. He like, yeah, I gotta do this and I gotta do that. Like this is what you do every day. Like this, I don't understand your process. <laughs> That's you know? a great thing that you brought up. Give me the thing that you gentlemen, as black fathers, uh, and we all are dads here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Give me the thing that y'all are the most in awe of as famous fathers fathering your kids. Huh. Give me that. So what, you, so what you mean? Say that Give again? me what, as you're raising your right. kid, right? What do you look at your kid and you are most in awe of? Like you you are most, you right. fascinated by this looking at, like for me, right? I look at where I was when I was 21 and I look at where my kid is at, 21 and right. I just think about it I do side by side sometime and I stand back like flabbergasted like oh shit that's little niggas in college and I had to go right. my car he still won't go drive to go get like just shit like that for y'all what do y'all look at y'all kid and just you know some of y'all is in them but they doing something different with what y'all gave them I, I, love, I love my son I love the person he is I love that um, he is he's absolutely not like me <laughs> that part Um, he's a he's a a good human, right? He's a he's a he got a good heart, and and I love that about him. I love the fact that he's a he's so unselfish, mm-hmm. right? I love that he 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 really understands, and he's a he's a rider, and that, I admire that. You know what I mean? Because um, I didn't even get the chance to make it to be his age free. Like, by the, he's 19. By the time I was 19, I was, what, in Southport or at uh, Clinton somewhere. Um, so with that being said, I'm amazed at at his growth. You know, I, I'm looking at him and I'm saying he, he's got hair and I'm like, wow. Like, I grew up in prison and watching him develop and I didn't have that, I didn't have that relationship with my father because he had passed and it was just like, it's, it's amazing to me. You know, to see him and to see the type of individual he is and to see the type of person that, you know, um, and him taking the life on, uh, having his own characteristics and being his own man. That is amazing to me. I don't really need it from you because I've seen it with you on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm about. So I, got, I ain't going to lie, but the one, the one thing that 
so like Maine said, my son is the same thing, total opposite for me. Very mild mannered, cool, laid back. Don't talk too much, you know. Everybody know him as Pooty, but you know, so for him, he's nineteen. I know he's about to go outside. I know the world is different, and um, he didn't grow up same way I grew up. So you know, I, I know he's gonna face up with some adversity, as, as, and I, don't, I always wouldn't to know if he's gonna be able to stand his ground, um, in whatever mm-hmm. situation, in the most respectful way he can, because I know he doesn't bother anybody. But I seen the other day, I got to see him. Stand up for himself when we was in a uh, place. I'm not, I don't need to talk about where he was at, but I was watching him stand up for himself. And the most impressive thing was that his first response wasn't, "Nigga, you know who my father is." His first <laughs> response was him talking to him, like, "You heard?" Like, that's hard. You dig? By the time they figured out whose father was, it was he, it, it was already it was, zero. <laughs> 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 All right. You dig? So that and not to say you know and that's the. Worst thing for me to ever know that he got to go up against anything like that. I don't want him to have to get it, but to know that he's going to stay in his ground was, I felt, you dig? Like, I know he about to go outside, so it feels good that I know he'll be able to stand up for himself mm-hmm. no matter where he's at without me being there. Yo, l- let me ask a question. It's a little, you, because <clears throat> you fucked me up. You like, yo, my son different than me. Right. Because he got a good heart. Right. If you ain't faced the adversity you face, you don't think you'll have a good heart? I, I think, think you have a good art. That's why, like, like now, like we all come from the bottom, right? The bottom, bottom. Right. So, the shit that you go through when you're running around shapes you. It shapes you. Right. Your environment make you who you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just to adjust and survive. Right. So, if you go to prison, to survive in prison, you gotta become an animal. Right. You get what I'm saying? Indeed. But if you ain't never go to prison, you might not. He's been the, the animal. he's the he's the he's the the truest form of me. Gotcha. I think the that he would he would be. Like who I was if 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 life um and circumstances didn't harden me in a certain yeah. kind of way, like didn't scar me in a certain type of way like he is he's probably the 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 the, the most purest form of me right there because he's unscathed by life he's right. he hasn't really had to deal with what so I had to deal with probably. you know what I mean yeah. so you it's the same you, thing the best thing is to watch a, a son around their kid a father that i mean a father around their kid a father that really loves their kid take care of their kid you can see it. I'm, in the presence of them, like when Mano's around Zane and shit like that, I, I, I'm observant of everything and shit like that. Like it's like the same for me. It's like looking at a mirror and shit mm-hmm. like that. Like the, the like we digging and we need to put that. We out have our more. sons around. Like we come to the studio, come to the gym with us. You know, like we have them around, and it's I think it's dope to it's have a them. A lot of fathers, like, cause it's a stigma that goes around. That's why I made a post the process, the other the day about the fathers they post and shit That's like that, right. because we don't get the credit that we deserve. As a, as a, as a there's a lot of fucked up mothers too. You heard? But we don't bear down on no, that like shit that. like that. We still highlight the fact that there's a Mother's Day and we give everybody a just mm-hmm. due. But there's so many great fathers out there that do not get highlighted and do not get the credit. They say, oh, that's the job you're supposed to do anyway. Well, shit, the same job the mother's supposed to do. But at some point, we're just as good as the mothers mm-hmm. to these kids. You know my I mean? son definitely hit me the other day talking about, yo, dog, what you want to do for Father's Day? And I'm like, ain't that, like, that's not my job. Like, ain't you supposed, <laughs> supposed to be here? You set it out. You set it I, out. I, I got, <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? I got a question. What? So what would y'all, like, what would y'all advice be, like, to up-and-coming artists, you feel me? Like, a motherfucker like me or somebody else coming up? Because, you know, like, you find you yourself... Could, you consider yourself up-and-coming? Nigga, if I ain't made it the way you niggas, you ain't rolling loud. You, you have a different lane though. Yeah, that's you true too. And you a you a giant yeah. in your lane. 100%. That's true too. So Everybody's I journey that. is different. You a giant in in that world. Okay, right there. Exactly. I appreciate that. You feel me? Like you know, looking up when you when you feel like you ain't made it the way niggas made it. That it always it's like you just not, chasing it. You think about it wrong. Mean, yeah, you're I, looking at it wrong. I'm a pessimist. I think everybody, everybody right. Wrong. Don't overthink it because everybody everybody journey gonna be different. Everybody's not gonna be. Drake or, or or this one or that one, right, right, right. and we shouldn't aspire to be. We got we can only be the best us. Right. So, it, like w- w- when I think of you, I think of, of, of one of the one of the premier artists in that culture. Right. You understand? Right. Which big, is a, that's a, big a gigantic culture. culture. That's all created, especially and now. It, right. Right. It's huge. And not right. even premier artists. Godfather, like you, yeah. one of the people that started you that giant shit. Giant in that, like, bro. One hundred percent. When that shit so, was in the basements and shit, yeah, we like were sitting that, in the house watching y'all, like, oh, look at these niggas, shit like this is crazy. Dig, like, for you know real. what I mean? Right. So, so other artists, so other artists, like trying to like balance, like, because we talk about fatherhood, and 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 this fatherhood thing is like, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice for my child's future with Tom. 
100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, and, and every artist knows that that's, that's that's the sacrifice you give. Like, I'm thinking about you at 18, 19, 20, 21, right. even though we're right here, right now, when you're right. nine, you're 10. It's all, so a, it's all, a, it's all a sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. what's your yeah. advice you to the there. balance? You gotta be there. You gotta get there and you gotta be there. I don't care what going on. I done took, jet, I done took Jets back to my son's football game. I'm not missing it unless God is no way for me to get there, bro. Right. Like, you just said it, nigga. It's, it's a balance, fucking, man. It's balance, nigga. And the balance, the balance is to make sure he sees you, make sure that she sees you, make sure you're there as much as possible, and make sure that they know that you take care of them. Of course, there's going to be instances where they know daddy's at work. It's a lot right. of times for that. But for the most part, right. don't miss as much as you did. Like, and that's one of the things I always made. Sure. Even to this day. Like I just had to go crazy for this whole prom. Like I'm not. He know since he been that was a so baby. That I'm prom. going. That was I'm going up for. I'm going for you. You dig? No matter right. what goes on. You dig? I'm going for you. No matter what. So that's what I could tell you. That's that, that's how I go about mine. I'm not missing nothing. I'm not. I'm. I'm there. Fuck all this because nobody was there for me. And the one thing I wanted to turn around and show my father who's not there is like, boy, I'm doing everything that you couldn't do for me because I know times were different back then. Hmm. Tell me about the crypto crash. Fuck that crypto crash. <laughs> you better have some cash. You did? Like, I'm watching people that get crypto, ready to jump man. out the window like this is the 87 Wall Street plumber. Like, you niggas is stupid if you put all your money inside of crypto and now you're losing your mind. Like, everything comes with balance, my brother. Why would you put everything inside that crypto? Like, you're supposed to. I ain't even gonna talk about that. That's a- I have my own. I, I have a cryptocurrency called Capital Coin and we all affected by certain things, but we gotta be smart. Like, I tell people, I'm not a financial advisor. No, I'm not, no, am I not stupid? I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. My mm-hmm. mom told me that a long time ago. So why would y'all do that? There it is. There it is. You still doing yes, it? Indeed. No, but listen, there's a fl- it's an upside to this. Like everything that crashes goes back up. So right now, the, the crashes, if you do have a little bit of money to play with, to play with, not Start buying it while that shit is low. Now that shit go back up, you're going to get filthy rich quick and then you just take that shit out, put, stash that well, shit that's, up and play with the little bit. Well, that's where the bullshit come in because what? when you got companies like a Binance and all that who now said, oh, everything is low, guess what? We hold the uh, transaction. They ain't the only motherfuckers I'm just saying, but that, that's they the, holding that's the transaction big boy. Because they, they, they never would thought they would... They, 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 exactly. they, they, yeah. they don't have the cash or the capital. The capital they don't, don't have to cash everybody out. You can't. You heard? So, so, they don't, so they're like, no, they we're not going to let you buy in even if it's low. Everybody's in a panic. Mm. Everybody's in a panic. You heard? No I way. mean, but motherfuckers that got it got it because they happy that this happened. When stocks plummet, motherfuckers be sitting in the back like, "Yes." But this is what I'm telling you. They be like, "Yes." I'm gonna up. go scoop yes. all that shit up. <laughs> Bitcoin's gonna be at some, eighteen thousand. Mil- it's gonna be some yes. millionaires made off she of this. Gonna get sixty seventy again. Right. This is what I just said. So it's the top. Now is the time. Go in and buy and I'm buy gonna and buy now. Couple, yes. I'm definitely going to snatch up a couple ETHs and a couple a couple bits just because. Yeah, like, no, you that, heard? That's, that's not, just life. Because like, if you can enough. sustain it, if you got money to sustain it, you're going to... Then then it's okay if you got money to play with. Yeah. So I, I, I always had some cryptocurrency. I always, you know, had some, you know, money... Always, you know, I had a couple coins. Always, but every know. game, yo, it's, it's cyclical. Every game, yeah, it's up and whether down. Whether it's real estate, whether it's, it's yeah, up yo, and it's every down. game go up and go down. That's no, a fact. I don't care what it is. Every game, yo, you just got what it is. Yo, fuck what yeah. you into. That That's shit got to weather the girl. storm. Got you. Better, you heard. Got you get to hit this shit next year. That shit that hit might not be the same. You heard? Like that nigga, part. you got to learn how to persevere right. out here, man. You I, I treat everything like basketball. Life really like a game of runs. It seemed like like you'll just have a week and a half where you just feel like shit, and then the next week. Everything hitting right. Yep. Yeah, everything Shorty straight. You. Everything Gucci. Like all yep. of the, you could, the right you, box. But you got to right but you got to learn how to how to deal with both. Both like sides when, when it's down and when it's and that's the tough dip, part dealing with both you, you know what I mean deal, but you got to deal with you got to will yourself into the position that you want to be in though bro you got to right. will it you got to you got to you got to manifest that shit I'm I'm big on that like right. I like I come I'm a nigga that never rapped in his life yeah all right I was a nigga that never I started rapping in in prison in in, in Southport 23 hours locked in every single day spending years in a box I started rapping under those conditions mm-hmm. I was never no rapper my nigga I had never had no aspirations about being a rapper I never had a dream never thought never nothing so what I'm saying is that you can will your way into some shit if you believe strong enough if you work hard enough and you and you and you like like your, your energy is just like I'm gonna get it nigga it's either we gonna win or we gonna win it ain't no other mm. in between. I like it that. ain't no, it ain't, it ain't no L because the L is really a lesson. 
upon the journey a anyway, nigga. A lesson so it's only a winning. At the end of the day. But that crypto shit is a, you got me think about that shit. Because <laughs> I, I, I know how many people are losing their shit over it. Because some of these people were talking like they were God. Yeah. They, you understand? Yeah. It, like Man. some of these people were just way too far gone with it and had like they don't got yeah. no reserve of what but reality yeah. is. But even with the even with the crypto crashes and the stock crashes, we don't take them like them. Of no, course not, because we, we know how to survive. We can eat peanut butter and jelly, that's my not, nigga. We can eat tuna mm, fish. That's that's never what we survive, though. We're we not putting all our eggs in that one basket. We, we know how to do different We know how places. to survive, bro. Like, like we, we come from... Like, survival is in our blood. It's in our nature. Like, we we come from... You know, we know what our, our, where we come from. You know the pain and... and, and and the turmoil that it's we come from. It's actually so easy to go without for me because it's actually harder with all this shit that it come with so when you got to say this so nigga over here with all these diamonds on. <laughs> Yo, the exactly. three of you niggas what? do got a lot of diamonds this nigga on. This nigga sitting over here talking about... It is. I'm being 100. But for real. I'm being 100. He got... This super There's a lot going this on. Nigga, this nigga crazy. I, I could go. I'm just talking about physically. Like I know what it's... I'm from Nook. Like I know what it's like to not have nothing. Like it's noodles. Y'all got life insurance? And at dinner. I yes. do. Hell yeah. You yes. gotta have life insurance. 100%. I got three policies. So got three. Rappers, Whoa, di rappers policies. dying more than three army. army y'all got jewelry yeah, insurance? Like, different. what if somebody take y'all shit? Winners insurance and all that shit. What if somebody take y'all shit? Y'all got insurance? I don't know. Take it is the wrong take word. It yeah. That's the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't like that at all. Yo, you better chill out. You see, I said I got winners insurance. Chill out. My house was getting robbed. I got winners insurance. I ain't playing with this nigga. Take it out. Support the music, man. Support the right to out. Tony said, well, I would like to take the word take it. Take it out. Yeah, I ain't. In case you might lose it, like, I Low, I lost it, it, misplaced. Left, left Invasive. A misplaced. chain inside of a fucking hotel room that I wish I had in show back when I was younger. A lesson. Man. Another lesson. Bad Another lesson. lesson. Man, I slapped the push-up hand. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. What happened to it? Because right in the hotels, I leave some shit and be, when the cleaning people come, you got to wear it even if you don't want to wear it because it can get shaky in there. I left. I, f I left. I forgot that shit folded under. I don't know what happened. Oh, you if checked I, out. I was in D.C. I never forget it. I was. We checked out, headed back to New York, sure. and I ain't remember till we was like in Baltimore on the highway. Not a way, Baltimore, Washington <laughs> Parkway. I mean, <laughs> you were in the middle of it. Call the hotel. You were headed back gone. to the hotel. All it was a dub. They was like, "What is the this man?" I think I'm done. Yeah, this was. I great. think I'm done. Yeah, nah. I got a wealth of information from you, gentlemen. <laughs> Hmm. Shut up, man. <laughs> what I will ask. Fuck out of here, Joe. <laughs> it's two of you niggas. The project was great. I know y'all should be busy for a little bit. I get tired just watching how you niggas is moving around. That's how out of shape I'm in. Y'all everywhere. When can we expect more? Oh, we already got a full clip loaded. And nope. also, we're working on the, <clears throat> the actual Fiddler album, mm -hmm. Fab, Dave, and Ming. And we almost, we, we got a bunch of records for that shit too right now. Yeah. So that's the next actual project. That's the shit I could get four there. miles off. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that. This, that's that motivation. Nah, 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 stop, nah, stop. Take this, to the gym. This nigga just he ain't he ain't clothes yeah, on his yeah. Peloton, yeah, man. He yeah, you're right. He Only four miles of getting this in the car. He been trying to lose weight for you. how long now? Come on, I don't work out, bro. Not more what they talking about, bro. They talking about fit lit, man. All right, so, so y'all so got a bunch of shit coming. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Y'all going to remain active. I got a Spanish album, got a Young Berg album, Berg Gang album. Oh, yeah, got, man. Got, you playing. I, I forgot work, about I got, that. I got, I got, I'm working. I forgot you had the right Berg now. joint in the tuck. The next. We soon as, soon as summertime, about end of July, I'm about to get into this Berg. Drop the first bomb and shit like that on that. It's work time. I ain't stopping. No, he got heat on that Berg project. He sent me a couple joints. Some shit on there. You be sneaky doing your sneaky research, too. You're a sneaky guy. <laughs> you know, I even know about all these records, man. Yeah. That, man. It's crazy. Nah, he sent some shit to my boss. Some girly shit. You back with some more girly shit <laughs> over some shit. I like a good gym girl record. Yeah, exactly. I do. I like that. I Mano, I love you. Nigga. I can't Love I can't you, wait to see what you have in store with no, the man, pod with the I, I, music. I, yo, listen to me. Mano I bought Mano last album. Mano has this one record that I'm waiting for him to put out. You just not gonna talk in the mic. Don't even say, say it. it. I don't do not say it. I'm just gonna wait for him to do drop. Do not this say it. You bitch. sitting you sitting man. on something? Yeah, of man, course we are. We went to work. My nigga, this is fuck we. 
He's this sitting is, on nah, something. Yeah, I gotta put you. something out so we can He's keep being Eskimo brothers. No, 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 nah, I gotta go. Hey, yo, but that boy got he got one record. He got this yeah. record, bro. That's gonna go crazy. I'm gonna shake about, shit it's up. It's going to go crazy. There's no if, yeah. ands, or but about it. If niggas hate on this record, they just hating. I when you dropping it. it. And Mano still got waves so at his age, we, too. We, we, we gonna get we gonna we gonna we gonna stretch out the uh the lobby boys. We got a couple more videos to shoot. We're gonna get past that cycle. We're gonna let slide become the number one record in the in the yes, country sir. and um and then and then we gonna we, we gonna Wu-Tang this shit and then y'all both gonna go I see what y'all doing yo what can I get some glasses shit. I see what y'all doing and then come right back Word. around on some group shit I got it yeah. alright I need some glasses yeah y'all yeah, fucking them up yeah I, know, I, got, know, I need glasses now we ain't got the LASIK so yeah they and then come with the solos no I see what y'all doing now yeah I see what y'all doing now well ladies and gentlemen y'all have any more questions for the lobby boys man y'all niggas have been Y'all niggas have been awesome, yo. Nah, y'all was yeah. I know, y'all. Your publisher's is back there having a blast. <laughs> they just let you niggas rock. <laughs> say what you want. Yeah, they, yeah, they ain't even yeah. come up to us Fuck and say some shit out. I forgot they were here until you said that. <laughs> no, me too. <laughs> they need shit to fix it. Yo, the anyway. lobby boys with publishers is great. Right. Stylists. Publisher stylist. I love the evolution of this shit, man. Thank y'all. So good. Friends of the show. Next time y'all have music, please come back. We're just having a great conversation, man. I know how your people do out there. Y'all take everything out of... Jim, you need a podcast, man. For too. real, one one of these days. Tomorrow, when you done, when you done I'm running say you around, keep that in your back right. pocket. It gotta be right. Too it's gotta be right. <laughs> right. <laughs> shit, the setup gotta be. We right. gonna we gonna do some shit together. Got, we gonna I figure out some shit that we gonna that do. actually do that I actually do call mine and you know diamonds. What I mean? It's a business podcast, but it's all about business. We get all up in your business and shit like that. See? We gonna we gonna figure but, out some shit. I know what you mean. It's bumming. You know how we bumming. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, yeah, the Lobby Boys. Yes, <laughs> album is out right now. Stream it and beam it. Just don't smoke What's it. What's going on, nigga? Oh. Y'all think Fabio cleaned y'all on this? Clean what? One slide. It's, yeah, he went wild on that. He went That's crazy a little bit. Cool. I don't think he cleaned y'all. Nah. I don't think he cleaned y'all, but he went crazy. I like Fabio. I'm not, me too. He be talking crazy. Me too, no. I like right him. now with that drill yeah. sound, Fabio be saying, stepping, man. For me, he got bit, but I'm just saying, it's, that's what he does. That's why we, that's why I know. I feel so good. I, it wasn't about I'm no talking thing. shit, Jim. I'm you talking know? shit. This is Hey. Hey. Mike check, one, two, one, two. Thank you to Mano. Thank you to Jim Jones. Thank you to the 60 straight pull-up nigga they brought with him. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Hey, see, Shout out to Dennis. This all in his tracks. That nigga said 60 straight. One time I did 60 straight. Yo, that was the most fun I've had. I got to tell you. That was the most fun I've had in a long time in here, man. You niggas is silly, yo. What? Wait, who said that, Mano? Let me take some ranch with me. Wait, Mano, you do ranch with your wings? What you supposed to do? You, you do blue cheese? Always blue cheese, never ranch. Never ranch. Blue always cheese? blue cheese. Niggas do blue cheese? It's always blue cheese. Don't bring that up, bro. Don't bring that up. It's always blue Only cheese. Only this one. Don't fucking bring that up, my nigga, because you do weird shit. You <laughs> <laughs> do weird shit. Uh, before we get into sleepers, so, uh, Surf, I have to ask you here on the real pod did you do it? What? <laughs> Come on, man. Did you do I'm it? Are you serious? Us, did you do what they said you did? I seen some talk. We seen the talk. Then we seen you get low. Yeah. I don't know. You my brother. Because I'm not entertaining. Like, I'm actually, I'm not pissed that you entertain. The niggas is trash, right? I'm not entertaining. Yeah. And like, so respectfully. That shit. That's what I said. But I don't like the, the I don't niggas think I should have to go there to the point that like, Niggas been watching me rap since I was 19. Like, I've rapped with some of the best niggas in the world. Like, some of the best. Joe Budd, Styles P, Jada Kids, G Herbo, Mozzie, all these niggas. And then, you know what I mean? We talking about, now we talking about word restriction. Like, I can't rhyme certain words and shit like that. Like, we got Fabulous saying, like, and Dykeman, hype, man. We got different other niggas. Like, when surf, like, when did we start removing words that surf can't say? What but, you know, when you be is, leaning on niggas would, like that. Why would I steal from the likes of you, niggas? That's nasty work. I would never steal from y'all. Y'all ain't dope enough to steal from. Me. I'm not going to the lobby to get crumb. Like I'm just, it don't make no sense for me. Like that's just a bad place to steal from. If I'm going to steal, I'm going to go to Gucci. I'm going to go to Louis. I'm going to go. Steal. I'm oh, not going mean, to you fucking. You heard what he said. I'm yo. not going to. And if it's and if it's stolen, so what? What you gonna do? That too. You know what I mean that too. But and I don't even like to take it there because it's music. But yeah, like that just was. I mean, like, you made it hotline. I made our song. Now what? I could have said that. 
<laughs> it's just distasteful to see some people entertain that shit. Like, ugh. You know what I mean? But that's crazy. I'm probably like the best nigga that ever come from Jersey. That was fucking disrespectful. You need to leave all that shit alone. What? Battle rap, But right? you won't because your phone look like that. Your phone, <laughs> your phone look crackheadish. Yo, my phone your is not on my 3%, phone. Your shit is on 3%, screen nuts, crack, bro. no My phone cover. is on 9%. That the screen is not red. cracked. I didn't even know that shit turned red. Oh, let me take this shit off, bro. That looks nuts. Look, my screen is fine, yo. Yo, the toughest of niggas got a little sentimental picture on their screensaver. Yeah, <laughs> man. I gotta keep you going. <laughs> All right, this lie. is crack, bro. All right, real good pod today. I want to shout out to Jim Jones and Mano for coming by the man. Lobby Boys album in your phone right now. Shout out to Sue Surf Jersey's Finest. Thank you for stopping by today. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all. Good energy today, man. I appreciate y'all. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. So long. Goodbye. Au revoir. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And last but certainly not least, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab a Tylenol. You might need it. Father's Day is this weekend. We'll talk about it this week. And we'll talk about it Saturday. And my birthday. Uh, predictions for the next... And your birthday. Predictions for uh, the next game. Give it to me. The winner. Warriors. Warriors. <laughs> the series is up. Welcome home. Love how y'all come around. I like that. I like that. Shout out to the Warriors. Warriors. Ish, you said what? I said Celtics. Say with some basic voice. I said Celtics. There you go. There that's, you go. good enough? Yeah, speak like a man. Uh, All right, we going. Y'all enjoy your week. Stay safe. Head on a swivel. Hey. Shout out to my aunt family still. We out of here, yo. Enough, Daddy.